Here were ladies, Hot Pine, how dare you? How dare you stand where trash once stood? <laughs> okay, so as opposed to being late to my stream, I got a little bit trigger happy and started a minute early. But can you really blame me? I'm so excited to get utterly decimated by the radiance. I'm so excited to get beaten to a pulp. I'm so excited to spend the next three hours repeatedly hitting a fucking god of the sun until it dies. I can't wait. <laughs> well, ladies, the real trash is here. Good. I hate to blame it on you, Hopheim, but my um my Streamlabs is actually saying that uh, I'm doing okay. I think this is your problem. You have to deal with your stream dying. Yeah, qu quick quick restart, quick refresh. Unfair, you're eating ravioli. I don't know if that's unfair, Trash. I feel like you're the winner here. You're the one with ravioli. I don't have ravioli. Hot Pine doesn't have ravioli. Like, everyone knows that the winner is the person with the most ravioli, and right now that's you. Thank you as well for not pointing out yet the fact that uh, I've, I've given myself a bit of a head start with this one. <laughs> I've spent the past 20 minutes or so practicing and uh, I've not done well. It doesn't bode well for the rest of the stream. I won't lie to you. I've not gotten past like the, the first phase, I don't think. But... It does mean that right now, we don't have to defeat the Hollow Knight. We can just go straight into Radiance. I have full soul. If I don't beat it straight up, I never will, <laughs> so... I do deserve the head start right now. What if I just- what if I, uh, what if I just keep stopping and restarting the stream with a head start so that you never have to see me beat Hollow Knight? I'll just make the screen go blank and I'll be like, wow, I seem to have a bit of a problem, like... Technical difficulties, stand by, and then when I turn the stream back on, it's like, I seem to be beating the Radiance. <laughs> Get Lifeblood Core. I saw what you said in the Discord about that, Hot Pine, and it does feel like it would be useful to have, but I'm a bit loath to go down to the Abyss right now specifically, especially because it's the kind of thing where I imagine that Lifeblood Blood core is the kind of thing where, unless you know exactly where it is, I'm going to be wandering around a lot. Shaman stone I might have, actually. I might have that, I'm not sure. Um, it's not one of the charms I have equipped right now, but I'm going to die in like, I don't know, maybe two minutes? It's pretty OP, so that could be useful, that's what I need right now. I need as much OP as I can get. Enzu, hello! I like that emote. Enzu, you always have really good emotes, I have to say. Right, well, I'm feeling confident. Let's just start right now. This either goes right or it goes wrong. There is no in-between. Bitch. Right, I'm focusing. Focus mode, focus mode. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm just going to be good. I'm just going to be better than all of you and you can't stop me. Exactly, see? I'm winning. I'm winning. You're losing. I'm winning. You're losing. Haha, <laughs> look at this. I'm better than you, and you need to accept that. Shit. Maybe I'm not better than you. Maybe it's me that needs to accept that. Fuck. Embarrassing. I was doing so well as well. Ooh. Got very lucky there and immediately fucked it up for myself. Fascinating. It's not what you love to see, necessarily. But, you know, you don't hate to see it. there we I got very lucky there and we need to accept that I need to just accept that uh that could have gone horribly wrong ah, ah, okay it's going horribly wrong fuck Gabby says my emotes are better I'd say you're about equal Gabby I'd say you're about equal nice 50 50 on the emote split I gotta say you sound annoyed oh I'm not annoyed don't worry I'm just I am acknowledging I am acknowledging that I, I'm taking on a bit of a hefty task in today's Hollow Knight stream. And, uh, I, uh, that I, 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 I need to prepare myself for the next three hours. The next three hours are going to be a lot of me yelling complete and utter bullshit. 
while I suffer. And I'm just preparing myself for that. Use nail strikes during phase three. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of, um, I had a lot of soul at the beginning. I think it was just my intention with this one. I was going to try the technique of, like, saving up soul so that I actually can uh, re regen masks. Because that's not what I did last week. Last week I was just like, go in hard, hit as quick as I can, get out. And I kept dying. So I'm trying to mix it up, you know? 76 hours into the game, I've decided to try something new. <laughs> I was doing good, you see? It's because I've been practicing for about half an hour. So I'm already, like, half an hour into the stream, emotionally. Lifeblood like masks, you can focus on hella attacks instead of healing. I could be interested in that. But I, I honestly wouldn't know how to go about getting um that charm is the thing. I do have shaman stone, I think. Yeah, there it is. Which would be useful, actually, wouldn't it? These are the spells. Ooh, wait. Shaman stone would be pretty fucking useful. It's a shame that it's so expensive. I can't afford that. Fuck that. Lifeblood Claw is obtained in the Abyss. I- I agree. That sounds amazing. Where's the Abyss again? The Abyss is pretty abyssy. There's a lot of Abyss in the Abyss. <laughs> no, no, no. I can head down to the Abyss. Hiveblood will allow you to focus on dodging. Oh, wait, Enzu, that is a good idea. Okay. I think right now this is the kind of thing that allows me to attack quite well. But it would be quite nice to be able to focus on dodging. I feel it might take too long. I mean, in defense of it as an idea, each hit does hit for two masks, but in terms of trying to avoid being hit and regenning when I do get hit, Hive Blood would be pretty good. If the goal is to not get hit, Hive Blood would mean that uh, even if I do, there's something behind it. But it does only regen one. But it's like passive regen, which would be quite nice right now. I would like to see it. I think I would. I think 15 lifeblood masks are needed to open the lifeblood claw room. Do I have that? I don't know if I'm capable of that, if I'm completely honest. Because the only charms that give me like a, a, a protection of uh, lifeblood is this, right? And then that. Oh shit, okay, that's quite a lot. Um, I can't count, give me like a second. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14? I swear to God, I'm so pissed. Fragile heart. Amazing. Delicious. Stunning. I feel like it's easier to not get hit for a while than it is to focus soul for this. Yeah, I agree. I think hive blood would be a good thing to use rather than quick focus. I do think that when we come up with our final charm set, it makes sense to have, um, hive blood. And I also think it would be very nice and cool and sexy of me to have attained this, uh, innate abyss thing. So, fuck it. Let's go abyss. I want to go wallow in the souls of my dead siblings and obtain some sort of ability to live. That'd be cool. Hey babe, XOXO, love you. That's my wife. Uh, if, if, if you're not aware, I'm married to her. We're in love. We got married in the spring. It was a beautiful wedding, unfortunately followed up by a, a less beautiful divorce. But we're back together. We've been together for a while. And this is Zote. Fuck you, Zote. That's all I have to say about him. <laughs> Hiveblood will take 24 seconds to charge with lifeblood. That's not bad. Um, admittedly, when I'm in that fight, Time starts to mean nothing, which is pretty terrifying. But uh, I would like to be able to passively regen because I, I find it easier to dodge, I think, than stop and uh, charge. I challenge Melo to overcharm herself and try the boss. Wait, no, Enzu. <laughs> if I overcharm, when I'm hit for two, I'll be hit for four, won't I? Enzu, do you not respect me? You're sentencing me to death. Palace grounds, palace grounds. Enzu, I'd actually love to try that, <laughs> but I, I would die. I would just straight up die. There would be no saving me. I don't think I'm half good at this game, but I also don't think I'm half bad. But I think if I did something like that, I would die incredibly quickly. I've been dying incredibly quickly already. I don't need to even defend against that. That's just who I am and I need to accept that. Please, one try. I will give it a try. Don't worry. 
don't worry. If we're defeating the Radiance today, I'm gonna, I'm at least gonna have some fun with it along the way. And what's more fun than causing me to experience agony by, by getting hit for four? I can't think of anything more fun, personally. And, and, uh, I know fun. They call me the Fun Master, Guardian of the Fun. There's a door on the map. I'm guessing it's the one, uh, sort of halfway down on the left. I'm gonna head towards it. But don't worry, yeah. Let's try something ridic- Let's try some ridiculous things today. Um, I am- I'm slightly paranoid right now, actually. That I'm gonna, like, lose one of these, uh, lifeblood masks along the way. So I'm gonna try and be, like, unnaturally careful working my way down here. The last thing I want right now is to lose any of my, my hearts. And mm, it could happen. It could happen incredibly easily. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of my defect, don't worry. <laughs> Shit, I gotta go the long way to do this. Fuck, bad game. Who who told me that I should play this game? Who, who, who suggested this again? Was it trash? I will, I will end trash. Trash hours, no more. This is not a, a trash positive zone. In this house, we hate and despise trash. <gasps> no, no, fuck. Fuck, do I still have 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Is this game nice or a pass? Oh, it's brilliant, Gabby, 100%. If you're debating buying this, stop debating. Listen to me. Stop listening to yourself. Listen to me. I'm the only person you need to respect. Oh, wait. This? Oh, it's counting up. That's so cute. Bench time now. Nah, I don't need no bench. As long as I can count to 15, we should be able to get in. I can count to 15. Very good to know. It was up in the air for a moment whether I could count or not, but now I know. I've heard Celeste is very good, actually, Gabby. So I think if you buy either, you're going to have an amazing time. But... I am biased because this game is my soulmate game. Fuck. Fuck. How many times do you think I'm gonna do that over and over again before I give up? Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna die. It was me, trash hate hours, get in the pocket. At least if I'm in the pocket, I don't have to, to look at your betraying face. You betrayed me. Do you not respect me? Wait, what? Did I fuck up? Oh no, no. Fuck that. Uh, do you know how I was just recommending this game? I've changed my mind, bad game. Oh, bad game, don't buy it. Don't buy it, you'll suffer. No one wants to suffer at the hand of a game I recommended. That just sounds too sad. Fuck. Maybe I'm trying this the wrong way. Let's slow it down. Let's go that way. Yeah, nice. Nice. We're so smart. We're so fun. Uh, get in the cuck shed. That's all I have to say. Amen. Fuck. Would it be better to just go down there? No! Bad idea! I'm gonna die! Who, who told me to come in this way? Because fuck you! Fuck you, honestly. I mean, at least it let me stay. At least it let me stay. Place your bets now. Do you think I can physically do this? Or do you think I'm gonna die before I even get all the way through? It's 50-50 at this point. But I'd like to see what you all think of me. I'd like to see who has the most respect for me. And who has the least. Yes! Okay, we did it. We didn't die. That's all I wanted to see. That's all we needed. Made it, uh, and I got all 15 of my hearts back. I'm so good at this game. I'm not even worried about it. And finally, we have the third lifeblood charm. It's all in your brain. If you've got a strong inner self, you'll make it. Gabby, fuck. What if my inner self is weak and fragile, like like um some glass or a piece of uh, like cotton? What if, what then? 
Clap, clap, clap. Yes, Mellow. Nice, well done. This is what I need, people. This is the positivity and reinforcement that I need. Why does the map think I'm in the tram? I'm not in the tram. This game is just stupid and bad, right? Let's, let's go. I'm done with the abyss. I've had my time. And now the time is here, and so we face the final curtain. Whatever. Bad game. Bad game. No one buy this game. If you value your sanity, don't buy this game. Ah! <laughs> At least you have an inner self unlike me. I ain't even got glass. Gabby, that just means you're unbreakable. Surely that's better, right? Like, my inner self is fragile and, and tentative. Your inner self isn't there. But, you know, you can't break something that doesn't exist. Eugenius, the, the, the key to life itself, just don't try. <laughs> um, now I'm only missing two charms, really? Holy fuck. Well, obviously I need to pay for this one to get upgraded and made um, proper. And then you're right, I'm guessing one of these I can get from the hive and then one of them... Fuck knows what that is. Fuck knows. But I pretend I do not see it. What if it was all a dream you had sleeping on a tram? That would make sense. That would explain this whole game. Like, the game... Is that what the ending three is? Imagine, ending three is just you wake up on the tram and, like, Hornet says, Hey, you, you're finally awake. And then you just go about your day. Maybe we're a chef. Maybe we cook. I'd like that for us. Good for us. Miller needs up to uh, to up Grimchild. Yeah, I've not even attempted all of the um the DLC if I'm honest. I've uh, I put on the charm once so I know that it makes little Grim children float around me, and I have a vague idea of where everything is. But yeah, no idea, no fucking clue, love. Not even giving it a fucking attempt. Open the charms again. I'm curious what you're missing. You haven't bought the fluke mom yet. You don't have shroom spore. <laughs> I'm guessing I don't have two of the easiest to get. Um, I'm also guessing from your tone that Shroom Spore is probably in Fungal Wastes. I should tell you right now, Fungal Wastes, I avoid like the plague. Or like a fungus, you could say, I suppose. The night is Remy from Ratatouille. <laughs> no, you're totally right. Like, you know, when I go like that and the, the ghosty spirity part comes out, that's a metaphor for being the rat. Meanwhile, the mask and the cloak is a, you know, linguini, fettuccine, pasta man. Beautiful. Neither of them is easy and neither of them is super useful. You use shroom spore a lot and you need it for one of the hidden endings. There are hidden endings? I hate this game. There is too much game in this game. Can I get a refund? More game than initially promised. I would like get less game, frankly. So let's put on Hive Blood, fuck it. What do these do again? Um, when resting, the bear regains a coating. Is this the one I just got? Oh, so it's just Lifeblood Heart, but sexier and cooler, I agree. Shroom Spore is like stinky, but stinkier. I don't want to be a stinky man. I, I, I'm happier the way I am, actually. Can I get a box for my ranch? Thank you. Good video, Toxic. Genius. I feel like you haven't seen Fungal Wastes in years. 100%. I've not been in Fungal Wastes since late April. I don't ever want to go back there. That place is a hellscapish nightmare land for me. Shrooms? I did them, and that's that area. Like, blood claw. Eh, claw? Claw? Oh, that's good. The only issue is, that's only useful for... Radiance if I don't get hit with Hollow Knight. And I will get hit with Hollow Knight. If you equip all 30, you get like 20 masks. That is pretty, that's pretty cool, I have to say. You do raise a good point. You do raise a good point. But now I've only got room for two. I kind of, wait, hang on, I'm curious. Let's take off all of my charms. I want to see what it's like when I have all three. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see if I can uh, mess with her mind. Wait, sorry, let Enzu, let me scroll a second. You said, ignored, I'm sorry. Equip all life-giving charms, I wanna see how much it ends up with. Let's do it, I'm on board. 
I see what you want and I deliver. I am a person of the people. <gasps> That's pretty fucking hot. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Joni's blessing and hive blood. You can have blue honey. This is kind of fun. Let's test this out. Let's have some blue honey. Let's have some blue raspberry honey. <gasps> oh my god, wait, that's perfect. That's a good combo. Desktop time. <laughs> Desktop is just superior. I agree. This is actually pretty good. Blue honey, 24 second regen, and we have room for one notch. What's got one that would help us out? No, see the thing is, I need sharp shadow. So let's do this. Let's be over charmed and let's go uh, let's go fulfill Enzu's request. Let's take on the radiance whilst over charmed. This seems like it can only go well. Don't over charm for radiance toxic. That sounds like a smart thing to do. Think about it toxic. When when in all of your time of knowing me, in all of the time have I done smart things for smart reasons? No. I'm here to fuck around. <laughs> um, with this combo, you can generate one missing heart, but still only once, and you can't focus. Mm, I, I don't know how I feel about this one, to be honest. I'm gonna give it a, 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 a try. Let's go absolutely wild. Let's go fucking crazy with this one, and we'll see what happens. Have I got compass equipped? No, I don't, I'm fine. You're gonna die in three hits? Hell yeah, I am toxic. I want to see if I can uh, mess with your mind and, and do this. I want to give it a try. Let's do it. Let's do it. How hard can it be? How bad can I be? Overcharmed Radiance, first try. Not even worried about it. Oh, I didn't realize I'd left my spirit here. Good for you, friend. Let's go in. Three hits? You have three hits? I never get hit! When have I ever gotten hit playing this game? Never. Mellow Bench? Yeah, shit, shit. Good idea, good idea. I needed that reminder. We're breaking Toxic. It's okay, Toxic. We're only gonna give it one attempt, Overcharmed, and then I'm giving up. The Overcharmedness is, is just an experiment. An experiment to see how powerful I really am. You know the answer already. The answer is I'm very unpowerful, but I would like to see. I would like to see. Shit. Bad. Bad news. Bad news. Already not doing good. Bad news. Not having a good time. Bad news. I'm not very happy. Bad news. I'm suffering. XOXO. I hate it here. Get me out. I know this was my choice, but I don't like my choice. Can I choose again? Can I get a new choice, please? Ooh. Oh, fuck please, no, fuck me, no thank you. Shit. <sighs> this is gonna go well. Ooh, ooh, you came out of nowhere, sir. Did not expect that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, when did we lose all of these hearts? When did that happen? When did that happen? What? We had like so many ages ago. Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? I'm... No. No, we were fine. What happened to being fine? I knew this would... Oh. Mellow, it only counts if you reach radiance. Don't make me do it again. Don't make me do it again. I've been in a big hollow night mood lately. It's very fun. I'm not having fun. I'm just sad. I'm sad and, and crying. Oh god, yeah, you're right. I take double damage. If you do manage to get the Radiance fight, you get all of your masks back. See, it would be really useful. It would actually be really useful for Radiance. Because Radiance... It would be really useful for Radiance. I just, I'm scared, you know? <sighs> okay, fine. Let's give it one more time. To, to quote Hamilton one last time, I'm not even going in with uh, some soul this time as well, which is kind of dangerous. Let's let's try and just not get hit at all. Everyone knows that my easiest talent in this game is just not getting hit. That's what I'm like notoriously good at. That's why you all watch my Hollow Knight streams because I'm so good at not getting hit. Fuck. 
Um, yep. Yep, facts, facts. The facts are these. I'm the best at this game and you're just jealous of me. You're just jealous of me because I'm so good at the game that you just want to be me. But you can't be me. The only me is me. I don't have mental fortitude to deal with that one. No, just don't hit me, please. Fuck you. Fuck you. Shit. Those ones are the worst, because they do for double anyway, so getting hit by that actually really plays me up. And by up, I mean down. And by down, I mean out. And by out, I mean I'm gonna die again. I didn't deserve this. I've deserved a lot of bad things in my life, and this isn't one of them. Ooh. Shit. One more time? One more time? Anyone against one more time? I need to refresh chat again. I broke it. Uh-oh, stinky. I broke Twitch single-handedly. One more, because honestly, now that, um... Now that I've got it in my head that we can go into Radiance with all of these regenerating lifeblood uh, masks, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to have it happen to me. This is what gambling is, you realize. For all of you that are like, oh no, gambling, never get into that. This is gambling. I'm gambling with my life right now. Oh, I'm Uno mask. <laughs> if you want a lot of masks, just do quick focus and un. A lot of that, for, for a fight like this, I do agree with you, Toxic, that that works best for the way that I play the game. But when taking on something like um, the Radiance, where the best thing you can do really is just not get hit and do everything you can to recover if you do, like something where I've got to be on the ground to like focus, it's kind of tricky. Um, so I really do get the appeal of this. It's just that it's really, it, I think it almost like shifts the difficulty level so that suddenly this is the really hard part. And if you can get through this, you can do anything, but I can't get through this. So I can't do anything. Ooh. I agree that it is also like a massive like waste of slots. I, I just, I want to get through to Radiance once and see if it is helpful, because I feel like it could be. And I'm in a weird, like, experimental mood today where I kind of just want to see uh, how far I can go. I want to see how much damage I can do. Shit. I think I forgot that I had Stalwart Shell un unequipped. Cool. Stabbing itself anyway, so I don't even have to try. That's pretty fun. Oh! Sexy. Hot. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> no! No! Don't do this to me! Shit. One more try, one more try, one more try. This isn't gambling, I promise, I promise. I'll get him next time. Mission failed, I'll get him next time, I promise. <laughs> it's so alluring, like, the idea of being able to go into Radiance with regenerating extra masks. But I think I will give this one more try and then accept that this isn't the way that I can play. Like, this requires more uh, focusing in this part. And I can't really focus. I can't focus anyway. Like, I was playing this off stream earlier to practice, and I can't focus off stream. Um, it's, it's only partially an issue because I'm streaming. A lot of it just comes down to the fact that my brain can't really look at this and, like, take it in. I can't do it, it's not for me. Fuck you, sir, I'm not happy with it. But we are gonna beat Radiance today. I've decided it, just now. It's a whim, but I've decided it will happen. And now that I've decided it, it can't go wrong. Once you decide something will happen, it has to, legally, or it's violating the law. And everyone knows that breaking the law is illegal. <sighs> okay, I'm frightened. I have to admit, a little bit frightened right now. But that's okay, that's all part of the gaming experience. Gaming, gaming, gaming! <laughs> no! Gaming went wrong very quickly. I'd rather not game. Oh, and Twitch chat broke again. I hate it when this happens. For being overcharmed for Radiance means that each attack does four. Yeah, I do, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to it at all. I'm just fascinated by the idea of being able to survive better. 
What if I turn down the lifeblood? I'm still using Journey and then I can equip Sharp Shadow without over, uh, over charming. That's a good idea, actually. Why am I over charmed? Because Enzu suggested it as like a haha, uh, JK unless. What if you over charmed for Radiance? Wouldn't that be funny and quirky? And then I got into it and I forgot how to stop. That's what happened. Um, so... <laughs> Basically, I took a joke too far and didn't know when to stop. Also, E. If you use other uh, lifeblood charms, they don't regenerate with hive blood. I think... Right, let's look at this list. Now that I have all of the charms except for these two, I am just rife with power. We need sharp shadow. I need it a lot. I'm also realizing now that stalwart shell, I'm too used to it to know how to deal without it, frankly. Joni core and shaman. I've never tried Shaman, but it would help me a lot for... It would help me a lot, I think. This is interesting. This feels like a logic puzzle, and we all know that I don't know logic. If you did over Chandra and Radiance, yeah, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's been pointed out to me. I don't think I was thinking that bit through. I was just like, oh, I just won't get hit. But you're 100% right. Toxic would recommend unbreakable strength, but fragile strength still breaks in the Radiance fight. I... Have I got the unbreakable strength yet? Shit, okay. So I would need money. I don't have any money. Unfortunately, right now, I am a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Um, I'm just a poor boy from a poor family, so I can't really afford it. <laughs> Shit. Quick slash always good. Mark of Pride always good. Would be pretty good to be able to hit very far. That would be nice. Is there anything that costs one that just helps me out a little bit? Anything. That might be fun, actually. Oh, see the shape of Nail Master. I never use that. That's what I'm like with Stalwart. I just can't deal with that because I've had it equipped since basically the start of the game. See, I blame this on you, Trash. I blame this on you. Because from the very beginning, when I've asked for, like, um, charm recommendations, Trash is like, yeah, do Stalwart Shell. And then I got used to it. And now I can't live without it either. So you've doomed me. Grub's Elegy works well with Lifeblood. What does that do again? Oh, yeah, that would be fun. Let's, let's reset. I don't know what I want. This is so tough. Poop is one and it's good. Stinky would be good, actually. No, you, you raise a good point. I will always be within a stinky distance and it only costs one. How about we try in that case? How about we try this out? How about we give this a little bit of a shot? This could actually be a uh, pretty good combo. Joni doesn't apply to what I just said, I don't think. I think uh, the thing with Joni's blessing, it seems to be that you can't heal yourself with soul, whereas I can. In the position I'm in right now, this combination allows me to be able to sort of do both. Hate to doom you, but join me in my fate. You hate to see it, but you do love to suffer as a team. I agree. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Get killed. Don't even live. Don't even worry about it, love. Don't even worry about it. I've never been bad at this. I'm only good. I'm exclusively the best. I'm the only person that's allowed to be the best. Legally. 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 Okay. Do you think if I say that enough, it'll become true? I think it will. Woo! Okay, we're fine. I trust me. No one trusts me more than I trust you. And I trust you. <laughs> Stop it. I hate the Hollow Knight so much. Bad game. Bad game. Ooh, that fucked me over. I fucked myself over a little bit there. That's okay. I just need to get through this because I've not actually gone through to Radiance since the very beginning of the stream. One to the left of Journey and Elegy. Okay, we'll give that another shot. I am 100% uh, guaranteed going to die after I, I give this another go. So then we can uh, switch up the charms again. I think I'd like to preferably give each charm set like about two or three goes before I really call it quits. Just because I still think that like a lot of it also comes down to what you're used to. And if I'm not used to the charm set, of course I'm gonna fuck it up. <gasps> Wait, we made it through to Radiance. <laughs> Can I get a bad game in chat? You, exactly. It's a bad game. Whoa, whoa. 
Oh, that's a lot of masks. Um, a wooga, wooga, jaw drop. Now that's a dame. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Miller complains about not having stalwart shell and doesn't equip it. Only because I really didn't have a room. It feels really weird though, because you do take damage quicker after getting damaged. It's really weird. This is the time you win. I don't think it. I don't feel it. I don't know what to say. Mm, I don't think this is good for me. I don't think it's gonna work. Right, we'll give it an attempt though. We'll give it a fucking attempt, love. It can't go wrong. Like the big banks, it's too big to fail. I'm just like a bank, too big to fail. Woo. Wait, is this going okay? Wait, shit, it was going okay and then I fucked myself over like a total dumbass. Like a literal absolute idiot. Not even imaginary idiots, like a real one. Fuck. 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 Everything is popping off. Shit, it's all popping off. Fuck. How do I stop it from popping? Stop popping. Remember the haha what's popping meme? Cause I do and it sucked. And I wish it would be over. Fuck. Remember last week when we stared into the mirror and, and we played Reflection from Mulan? That was fun. That was fun. I remember that a lot. <laughs> Come on, Melo, you can do it. Moth Milf is no match for Melo Knight. I think Moth Milf beat me. I think the power of a Milf is too much for me. I don't think I'm as strong as them. The moth is mature, and she knows what she's doing. She's been around longer than me. Okay, okay, okay. I got into phase two, but I stopped. Also, Trash, I just saw, what if Mellow won? You doomed me with that. I'm blaming it on you. Shaman was pretty useful, I think. I got to phase two again! I'm so cash money! If I can get to phase two one time, it can happen again. Not even worried about it. Not even gonna be a problem. That's how good I am? That's how good I am. I've not had to worry about being good at this game in months. I just get by and how naturally I talented, uh, naturally talented I am. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Ow! Why does it keep- why can't I jump? Fucking bad game! Bad game, bad game, bad game in chat, bad game. I think it is. I think you should all agree with me. Uh, and you shouldn't doubt me. You should just say yes when I tell you to say things. Mello tells you to say it's a bad game. Mm, it's a bad game. It always has been and you need to accept that. I just wasted a lot of soul, didn't I there? That was on me. Ooh, that was smart though. I think. Ooh, that wasn't. That was. A nice mix. A nice mix of dumb bitch juice and intelligent. That's what everyone needs in life. Sometimes you need to be dumb. Sometimes you need to be smart. It doesn't help if you're smart all the time because then people come to expect better from you. Sometimes you need to sip sip your dumb bitch juice. And then, when you are smart, it's cool and fun. But you can chill out the rest of the time. It's nice to be calm. I haven't been calm in a long time. <laughs> Would be fun to do that again, huh? I'm so good at gaming! Uh, oh my god, uh, I'm so talented. Bad game, bad game, bad game, but good gamer. <sighs> okay, let's just keep stabbing you. Oh, we don't have to, Hornet's about to come in. Hello, wife. Hi. Hi, wifey. Hello. Huh, I love when she says that, makes me happy. What if Mello won? Haha, <laughs> JK unless. I do like to see that. Can I get a bad game in chat? Woo! Bad game, bad game. Only if I lose, right? It's only a bad game if I can't win. Um, it's not even me. Wait, what did, what did Enzu say? I didn't even scroll. Next try is Elegy. I agree. Good game? How dare you! Liar, 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 liar. Don't tell me that, you liar. Ooh, was a good idea to spam. Who knew? Who knew, huh? Fuck, uh, who knew? Who knew? I immediately followed it up with the poorest showing I've had yet. Kind of embarrassing, huh? Kind of embarrassing for me. Wish I hadn't done that, but I did. 
Am I in phase two? Is this phase two? Fuck. Fuck. I don't think I like phase two. Can you get me out of phase two, please? I don't think I'm having a good time here. I gotta say. Gotta say. Don't think I like it here and would quite like to leave. Would quite like to leave. What is happening? What is happening? I walked into that one like an idiot. Uh, is anyone else breathing? Can someone breathe for me, please? That would be really nice so that I don't have to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. I was doing okay. Wait, that one felt okay. I was doing- I was doing good, right? I can breathe now. Nice. Nice to be able to breathe. Here's- here's a hot take. This is just an idea. Do you think I'd do better if I was breathing oxygen when I was playing? That's just an idea. I was doing amazing! Shit! <laughs> I gotta say, as much as I'm- I'm- uh, fuck, I missed or shell, feel like pure shit, just want her back. This does feel like a pretty good combo. I'm liking it quite a bit. I'm liking it quite a lot. Elegy time? What does Elegy do again? I've never had that equipped and used it. When the bear is at full health, they will fire beams of white hot energy from their nail. I'm only at full health like once though. <laughs> and then it all goes downhill. I don't think I can use that. Um, I'll keep going with this. If I don't seem to be improving after a couple more rounds, it's time to give up. It does look cool though, and I love the sound. Don't get me wrong, I love the sound of Elegy with all of my heart. Fucking stalwart shell! Every single fucking time, I expect to be able to... Uh, be able to not die, and then I die. It's tragic, it makes me sad. I like being able to live, and this game doesn't want that for me. But I want it. I want it! Give me what I want, game. Bad game, bad game. Bad game doesn't give me what I want. Woo! Spicy. Woo, less spicy. Wait, I'm so talented. I really am sorry that everything I say today is gonna be ridiculously like nonsensical to like a, a not even comedic degree. It's just so hard to think words when I'm doing this. Um, it's hard to think anything. I can't even think pictures right now, to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm thinking exclusively in colours and emotions. And if you think that's bad, yeah, it is. I don't personally like it. <sighs> I don't like it here! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Just die, just die, just die. I've had enough of your bullshit, sir. Oh, fuck, wait, am I gonna die? No, don't, don't make me, don't make me, don't make me, don't make me, don't make me. Oh, Hornet, please, Hornet, please, love, I need you right now. Cool, cool. How many notches do Mello have? I don't think I have the full amount, if I'm honest, Hot Pine. Uh, whatever the full amount is, I'm, I'm not, I don't have it. Okay. Honestly, Poop Charm is the MVP. I don't need to work hard because I smell like shit, so people try to avoid me. It's good. Lifeblood core masks don't count towards max health. Oh, in that case, I see the, the um, benefit of having that in this case. I do see that. Maybe I will give that a trial. Swap out Shaman Stone for that. Let's see. We'll have another, like, um, charm reset when I die. Actually, no. Fuck that. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna beat the Radiance right now. You were here. You were here when I beat the Radiance. Cool. Not even hard. That's how good I am. That's how good I am. Just naturally. The talent of me. The talent of me. The talent of me! I'm so good at gaming! 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 <laughs> Shit. Maybe I'm bad at gaming. Um, this time Melu wins. <gasps> Why would you all say that? Why would you all say that? <gasps> I'm allowed to say that because I know that I don't mean it. If you say it, 
and you mean it, then I'm gonna lose. That's just the rules. You don't want to make me break the rules, do you? Fuck. 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 I'm gonna die. It's time to die. Shit! Shit! Sh shit! Fuck! I played myself! I played myself, and I didn't even mean to. Can you- can you hear that creaking sound? That's the sound of me gently crushing my controller. <laughs> this time Mello wins. I did win something. I wouldn't say I won the game, but I won something more special than that. I won my infinite respect. Ooh, ripping piss. That's what the P in RIP stands for. Piss, right. So, what was the combo people were suggesting? Grubber flies elegy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that overcharms me. I don't think I want that. I don't think I like it at all. I think that's stinky and bad. How about this? How about this? And then when I when I smash, I do the little swooshy thing. And then we get to hear nice noises. I like nice noises. Yeah, I do have nine. Um I see that Hopheim is saying that I could get. Wait, how many do I have? Three, six, nine, yeah. Maybe another one from uh, the Grim Troop. But that would mean that instead of defeating the Radiance today, I defeat three of the DLC bosses instead, which I don't think I can do. I don't think I can do that. No way. Wait, what if Radiance is just the god of piss? What if Radiance is just the god of piss? I mean, that would explain why I'm finding it so tough to beat Radiance. Um, I thought it was because they were the sun god Ra. I could definitely beat Radiance with nine slots. I agree. I actually agree. I just don't personally believe that, like... Oh, I see now why this is useful. Fuck. Uh, I do see that now. Yeah, um, I think I just don't personally think that today we would be able to further that goal. Because, um, I don't think I can do three bosses instead of one. <laughs> I don't think that's really in the cards for me, I won't lie to you. You know me, I don't lie. I've never told a lie. It's about Trial of the Warrior. Oh yeah, I haven't done the third Colosseum. Does that give me access to, um... Ooh, 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 ooh. Does that give me access to another slot? Because I'd honestly be willing to give that a try. I think we've come, um, we've progressed quite a bit since we did, um, the last of the Colosseum Trials. So I think we could maybe have more hope of it this time round. I do think. I, I do think. Occasionally I think. I can get three more? No way. No! I refuse to believe that. I've believed many of things in my life, but not that one. Oh shit, I need to, um, fuck. That was embarrassing. Second policy invite gives you a charm slot. I've done the second. The only one I haven't done is the third. Um... The Trial of the Fool, isn't that one? How many notches did you buy? I've, I've, as far as I'm aware, I think I have bought everything. Um, we could always go back to Salubra, but I've got it in my head that the last thing to buy from Salubra I could only get once I've got all of the charms. But that doesn't make sense, does it? Hang on. If you want more range on your blade beams, Mark of Pride does that as well. Interesting. Interesting, okay. But in that scenario, we'd have to get rid of Lifeblood Core. And I think Lifeblood Core is useful with Elegy, actually, because it does me give me like a bit of a, a four damage backup where it still does something. And I didn't, I don't have the Fungal Waste one. If the Fungal Waste one is basically just Defender's Crest, but better, if it's worth one, uh, one notch, I think I'd happily get it. Yeah, I've got one Salubra's Blessing left, but I need all the charms, so I- I can't... <sighs> Are they easy to get? Because I might be willing to take another, like, um, a detour, you could say. A little journey to go and obtain something fun and- and good and that would help me not die. That would be fun to me and I would like to see it. It's nice to be able to equip my original charm set as well. Like this is, these are the ones. These are the ones, mwah, chef's kiss. It makes a big cloud of spores when you complete a focus heal. That's not crazy useful. 
but if these two are reasonably easy to get, I think I'd be willing to. I did Fog Canyon Notch. I think so. The tricky part, Hot Pine, about the fact that I've been playing this game um, every Monday for like <laughs> six months, it means that I'm, I can't remember what I have and haven't done. So there's probably a bunch of things that I've missed early on in the game that I don't realize I've missed simply because I did them in April and we are currently in September. You get them after you kill two Shroomal Ogres. I don't even think I know what a Shroomal Ogre is. I might have just avoided them like the plague. I find out why it rains in the bit City of Tears. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We've, um, I think it's because the waterways, right? It's because, um, the resting grounds Blue Lake is like leaking into everything else. I think that's pretty cool. If I did the ogres, I don't think I remember the ogres. At least, are they actually called ogres or is that just something that we call them because they look stinky and Shrek-like? When I did Radiance, I was doing really well with utility stuff, but I eventually gave up and went for a rush down strat. Strength, quick slash, long nail, mark of pride, but it's super risky. Yeah, I, I think that was almost close to what my original was. Wait, where am I going? My original plan with Radiance was to just hit as hard as I can, as quick as I can, but it was kind of a struggle for me. I didn't find it that easy. Let's go to Queen's Station. Let's go see the Queen. XOXO. I have defeated things that look like Thick Mushroom Boys. I'd almost describe everything in this area though as a Thick Mushroom Boy. Um, and not thick with two Cs, definitely not. Although, I mean, just saying. JK, unless? No. But unless? I love this station. Oh. Oh, I've always been able to do that. <gasps> XOXO, go piss girl. XOXO, go piss girl. God, I love that. I'm a big fan of piss jokes. You know me. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, I can kill them in one now? God, I'm so strong. The power I hold, ridiculous, really. Another thing about this area, I don't know where I am or what I'm doing a good majority of the time. So, I'm not really sure where I haven't really been. <laughs> Can't believe Melu is a piss kinker. You think you know someone. You do think SMH. you know someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no! Fuck you, bombs. I don't like bombs, not a fan of them. SMH. Can we get an SMH, please? I apologize. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to betray your trust by being this thing, but it's just who I am. And if you can't accept me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my... If you can't accept me at my piss kink, you don't deserve me at my good at games. I've been purposefully bad at games this whole time because I know that you don't respect me. Why did I do that? Why have I decided to come in here and kill all of these things? I got nothing from that. Why? Maybe lurking a bit because you're reading some more of the Lost Book of the White. Oh my goodness. Um, you're way ahead of me then if you're, if you're, um, I took a break from reading that because I think I was busy. I can't remember why I was busy. I don't know what I've done that would make me busy. Oh yeah, no, I was busy yesterday. I remember now. XOXO. Fuck you. Where are the ogres? Where are the ogres? Where are they? Where are they? What do they want from me? Near the deepness entrance. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Um, that's the area that I don't really go to a lot because I think it's stinky and gross and makes me angry. Real gamer hours. I'm the only gamer. You've heard of fake gamer girls and real gamer girls. Well, I'm the only one that counts. Oh, it's Mr. Sh it's you. Hello. I love this one a lot. I love this one. I do. I do, Mr. Mushroom. Okay, bye, Mr. Mushroom. Thank you for the fun. Mellow hours, mellow hours, gamer hours, gamer hours. You've never uh, seen gameplay until you've seen me play Hollow Knight, and that's just a fact. If you don't believe me, ooh, then you're just incorrect. L read a book, honestly. Learn any fact, and you will know that I'm correct. Um, that's all you need to do. It's not even hard. Stop it. You can understand him if you get the mushroom charm and wear it. <gasps> um, that suddenly makes all of this infinitely more worthwhile. I need to understand him. I want to know what he's saying to me. The words he speaks, I wish to know. 
I've been struggling reading it. I had a mini slump, but now I'm, uh... 150... Wait, are you 100... The other entrance? Ah! I hate this game. Bad game, bad game, bad game. Fuck. Nobody saw that, right? We're all gonna agree that nobody saw that and that we're gonna pretend it wasn't a thing that happened. <laughs> Mellow blind. In my defense, maybe I should put on my glasses. We make the joke. It's like, haha, Mello can't see. Mello should put on glasses. But I, I require glasses and I'm not wearing them. Fuck, I'm gonna put them on. Saw nothing? Thank you, Trash. See, Trash? Trash respects me. Trash understands. The rest of you can't say the same. This is why Trash is my favorite. Um, you, you changed my mind, honestly. Where am I going? Oh, there we go. 150 pages in and vibing now. 150 is good. I'm, I'm, that's a good place to be, I think. Um, I think I'm still like 40 pages in. I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm 40 pages in. I'm enjoying it, obviously. It's characters I love. I've just been really busy just, just sort of hanging out, just chilling, just vibing. Waking up at, um, 11, 11 a.m. and proceeding to do nothing. <laughs> sorry, I was waiting there. I'm sorry, I was waiting there to be like, you see, this is why I've never done this. Because I can't do it, you're all wrong. And then <laughs> it ended up looking like I was just waiting to be instructed to what I have to do. Which I guess to some degree I was. I don't know why that's made me um, feel so amused. <laughs> I'm just amused by the fact that the way I play this game is just sort of hanging out and waiting for someone to tell me what I need to do. Bye! <sighs> what a bitch, honestly. Honestly, what a coward. What a scum of the earth. You don't deserve rights. I deserve rights. You don't get them. None for you. Merry Christmas. Remember to open the gate? Fuck, is that over here? I can't see. I can't fucking see. I promise I'm wearing my glasses though. I promise. Right, yeah. Why have I never done that? Why? I'm so... I'm... I'm so smart. Please believe me. I'm a very smart person, I think. But I'm also, uh, as you say, uh, small of brain. <laughs> Big of heart, small of brain. No rights for you! Okay, that was one ogre. They don't feel very ogre to me. I think that's why I uh, disagree with the assessment. To me, they feel more um, large, overgrown potato boys. That's what I think. Methinks they are potato men. We do not uh, buy fruit from the potato men. We do not eat their fruit. I don't know. I'm trying to quote Christina Rossetti. It's not working very well. <laughs> There's one more ogre. Easy, easy game, easy game. Not even worried about it. You know how easy I find it to kill ogres? I think you'll remember my AI dungeon stream. Wow, wow that's Owen Wilson. If no one's been here when I take those things on, that's Owen Wilson. We just beat Owen Wilson. I hope you feel good about that. Easy game, true, true. Okay, that looks like an ogre. Bye. XOXO, fuck you. Oh, fuck you! There's, there's three! Why did none of you all tell me there was three? Liars. Liars and cheats. Disgusting. The things you all say. I think I got into Deepness this way first time because I did the... Oh, you got there before you did Mantis Lords? That's really interesting to me. I remember now that I'm... I remember at the time... There was a joke that like I basically uh, I got into deepness through Queen's Gardens like I went down and left So I had to put in none of this effort whereas trash went in through here and had to do all of deep nest How did you get monarch wins before mantis lords? I pfft, I honestly don't know <laughs> I might have had them. I can't remember the thing is I have the mantis lords stream um, highlight video on my youtube channel 
So I can, I can very easily find out what I did and didn't have. But I just sincerely don't know. I a lot of this game. Owen Wilson! Woo! A lot of this game I've played very backwards. Um, and a lot of these areas I've kind of avoided exploring because I find them very confusing. Like, it's a lot of um directional knowledge, which I don't have. You did Mantis Swords very late. That's really interesting to me. Because for me, that was one of the first things I did. I was actually looking today. Okay, so. There's a website called Twitch Tracker and you can use it to sort of like look at stats for different people's streams. <gasps> Have I spoken to you before? What good to foresee a demise unavoidable? I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't see the point of you. You're gross, get out of here. Wow. Love you, Owen. XOXO, go piss girl. Maybe, no, that's Steve Ness. Have I ever actually gone down here? I don't know. Um. What was I saying? Oh, you were asking trash! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm so embarrassed. I'm gonna cry. No, what did I do? No! 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 Fuck! Shit! Okay, give me, give me a second. I should have the notch now. Liars. Liars. Disgusting. What was I saying? I was saying um, earlier today I was looking at Twitch Tracker. It, it sort of keeps stats of different Twitch channels. And I was looking at my stats and Twitch Tracker has got the names and the contents and the, the stats for every stream I have done since February. And I was scrolling through and there's like four pages and it's really interesting to see what I've named my streams. To be honest, depending on how this goes, I might look at that at the end of the stream. That's how we'll finish the stream. We'll have a reflection time. It notifies you when you've got a notch. Interesting. There's two more in the north. So you need to kill all of them. That's okay. This is okay. Because I think we can get into fungal wastes once more this way. That'll be easy. This isn't a problem. Yeah, Twitch trackers is really cool. Um, You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know me. You know me. I don't know how to um, not do things when my brain has latched onto them. So let's do something fun. Let's do something fun, everybody. Let's take a brief game pause. And let's look at my Twitch tracker. Let's let's stop focusing on the game. Let's focus on me some more. Let's pay more attention to me. So first of all, fun fact, I'm actually the 227th, 6,000th, uh, most popular streamer on Twitch. Isn't that wild? I think that's wild. Um, I'm in the top 2.95% of Twitch. <laughs> I skipped your message vibes? Oh yeah, shit, hang on. Hang the fuck on, how dare I? Um, you got dive, then you went and got crystal heart, fell down to resting grounds, and then went through the right of the city all the way down to basin and got monarch wings. We took such different routes. I kind of love that about this game. You can take such different routes. I'm in the top 3% of streamers. I'm so cash money. I am. I really am. Um, I'm just the most talented. So this is why I say when I'm the number one streamer on Twitch, I'm only um, 227,599 off, actually. Which isn't that bad. But the cool part, none of this is very cool. This is all very boring and sad. Streams, that's fun. When you go to page four, they're like advertising me capture cards. I fucking hate cookies. The first stream I have recorded, this wasn't the first stream I did, but the first stream that Twitch Trackers has got for me was the 5th of February. It started at 7.52 and I played Sims 2 because the nostalgia really be hidden. Um, there's many things to note here. First of all, the fact that I would play Hollow Knight basically every single stream. That's very fun. The second fun thing to note is that if you look at the length of my streams, I would do hour long streams. It was irregular for me to go over two hours. And then occasionally I'd go to like three. And then if you just very quickly, very basically, very simply compare that to like recent streams we very rarely go under two hours sometimes we have four hours sometimes we have three and a half like 
it's wild and I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, we only played Hollow Knight. And when I didn't play Hollow Knight for a while, I'd name a stream like the Hollow Knight withdrawal symptoms kicked in. It was all I did. Spooky Sunday too, the superior Sunday. <laughs> Basically what I'm hearing is Melu good streamer. Yeah, I've taken this detour so I can just flex about how talented and cool I am. You'll just have to deal with it. But in all seriousness, remember April 1st? If you, if you weren't here for it or you don't remember, we played Minecraft and it went really good. I had a fun time. And then like an hour and a half into the stream, I decided I wanted to play the, the online board game version of Risk, Global Domination, and proceeded to completely fuck the stream over. Like... The quality went rapidly very downhill. I don't know what happened. It just, it broke the entire stream. Also, Hot Pine, you left me something? <gasps> Hot Pine, you genius. Look at all these facts. Look at all these facts and figures. God, see, this is great, Hot Pine. Maps like these. Literally, the only issue with them is the fact that because I've done so much, so spread out, like, I can't remember when and what I did. You can sort of see that when you look at the title of the streams, like, um, if you go to page three, Hollow Knight, blah, 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 um, Hollow Knight aiming for the last dreamer. We were doing the last dreamer in May. We started trying to beat the Watcher Knights in June. Um, We did the terrifying implications of Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus on stream in June as well. We took on the Colosseum. The first time we tried taking on the Colosseum was fucking July. What the actual hell? This is ridiculous. I can't comprehend that we've done all of these things. Remember the, the Half-Life stream? <laughs> My 50 followers special? Wait, that was cute. And we used to stream Five Nights at Freddy's a lot more often, and it always did really well, but I still- I never beat it. All of these hours put into Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and I never did it. Not Risk, please, I have nightmares. Yeah, the Risk streams at time. Oh, and also this one specifically, Hollow Knight, more like Hollow Woe Knight, uwu, on March 18th. That was when I played Hollow Knight for a bit, and then played Portal. But that was when we played Portal, and in the background I had uh, The Sims 2 create a sim music on in the background really really loud and i played multiplayer with namri and it went really badly when is the next mellow lecture in my head i would love to do one on um princess diaries 2 and why princess diaries 2 is a really good movie despite the fact that it isn't it isn't about princess diaries the princess diaries books are insane like there is so much to the princess diaries lore and yet Princess Diaries 2 is like, what if we didn't do any of that? What if Michael just went and didn't- In the fucking books, the main character Michael goes to Japan, invents a robot that can perform cardiac surgery, and then comes back and, and, and engages in a battle of wills to defeat JP to fall in love with Mia, better, faster, stronger. In the movie, at the very beginning of the second movie, they're just like, Oh, and Michael? Where's Michael? Mm, he's touring with his band. Fuck, this is blatant Michael erasure and I will not accept it. Check again, let me have a look. Oh, you've even circled it for me. I, You treat me too good. You'll treat me too well. I, I respect that a lot. July and August just didn't exist. <laughs> July is page two, I think. Um... Am I as hollow as this night? Much to ponder. The first time we played Terraria. I think that's the first time that Hot Pine popped up as well. So this right here? Hot Pine's first stream. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Melu more like hello gamer. I don't like the way that Nicole said hello. It was like hello. Very disgusting. Very stinky. God, but it's just, it's so... I don't know why this makes me feel so emotional. I just love it a lot. Um, the fact that they've been saved since February. Unfortunately, it misses a few of like the really, really early streams, but just the fact that it's all here and that I can click on it, I can look at the stream details, I can look at statistics, like this brings me so much joy that this has just all been tracked. Um, 
I like hours streamed the most because it just keeps climbing. Oh boy, does it. Ooh, that's a big number and that makes me very happy. Anyway, that's all I have to say. That's it. <laughs> Princess Diaries! I'm planning it in my head, but physically I have not produced the Princess Diaries lecture yet. But it's there, it's waiting. That map has the shroom charm on it? Oh, wait, that's useful. Um... I can't see it. Let me look. Don't, don't call me, don't call me blind. I see it now, I see it now. I see it! XOXO! Uh, ooh woo. Right, let's go do it. Easy. Not even worried about it. Um... So we need to go... This isn't cheating, but I am gonna bring up the map. Okay, I know where we have to go. Very nice, very fun, very cool. Let's just go up, upstairs. We're going up, up in an earlier round, but sugar, we're going up swinging. Fuck! I'm having wild flashbacks to the Mantis Lord stream. Anyone else? Anyone else having awful, horrendous, soul-rendering flashbacks? Cause I am. Piss boy has returned. Welcome back, Chai, welcome. I'm glad you're feeling particularly pissy today. That bodes well. It bodes well for me when everyone is feeling uh, their most extreme uh, piss mood. The power- the stream is powered by uh, the, the energy of piss that we exude, so... Good luck. Can we go up this way? Is that something we can do? I hate these areas! I hate it! You've streamed for a total 190 hours. You should celebrate by doing a 190 hour stream. Oh yeah, 100%, 100%. How many, okay. I don't like that I have to calculate this with Google. How many days is that? Okay, 190 hours is seven and, uh, 7.9 days. So I should do an eight hour, uh, <laughs> I should do an eight day long stream. I agree with you actually, hang on. No, I'm fine. I got confused. Don't don't talk to me. <laughs> Mantis Lord stream was quality. It was. I we did the Mantis Lord stream very very shortly after I had made like Twitch affiliate, so it was a weird one because I just made emotes I think, and I think it was one of Bright's first streams. Like it was just a lot. Um, it was fun. I had a good time with it. Um. I wasn't very stressed, so it was nice to edit as well. It was just overall a banging stream. 10 out of 10 would do it again. I'm full of piss and vinegar today. A good combination. It works together in, in harmonious harmony because um everyone knows that piss is nice and bitter and yum yum. And then the vinegar gives it this nice like metallic edge that everyone needs. Everyone needs that. That's just a fact. Um, I do- I'm the distributor of the facts. Oh, look at all this cash! Not that I need it. I'm incredibly rich. I live a rich and mysterious life, but now that I have it, I might as well. It's about nine days. Good point. Nine day stream. Streaming for nine days straight. Melu, you said vinegar was metallic. Did you mean blood? No, I mean both. I mean both. I- I meant what I said. I didn't confuse vinegar with blood, don't worry about it. I know the difference between vinegar and blood. One of them is red and the, the other one is blood. So you don't need to, I'm, I'm not confused. You're the one that clearly doesn't know the difference. Why are we, why are we saying this about me? Let's go back to the game. We're playing a game, everyone. Remember the game? How the fuck does Mellow know the flavor of piss? It's just a feeling. Don't we all? I thought we all knew that. I thought that was just a, uh, a thing that we all... Is it not? Shit. Wow. I guess I'm just incredibly blessed um, and cursed with the knowledge of what, what piss is. I know the chemical composition of piss. Do you? Mm, embarrassing. The feeling when you beat Mantis Lords was amazing. It was because we dedicated so much time to it and we developed so much like internal lore surrounding it. That the moment we did defeat it, it was more than just a game. Um, it's just a game is a loser's mindset, and we're not losers. <laughs> That's what Twitch Ninja said. Tyler Ninja Blevins and I agree. Everyone point to Hot Pie for not knowing piss taste. Haha, -ha, Hot Pie doesn't know the taste of piss. Wow. 
embarrassing for you. Not for me. Not for me. Miller's blood is vinegar or is Miller's vinegar blood? That's the question, isn't it? That is the question. I swear I've done this. Have I not? I've been here. What? Don't tell me that was all I had to do. What? No? Again? I... Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> I don't know. One is red, the other is blood. Yeah, no, I stand by what I said. I know what the difference is. This one's on you. I don't understand. Did I break the game or do I have the notch? I must have the notch already. Wow. I mean, on the plus side, I made some cash out of that. And I do need that cash right now. Now, let me have a look at the map. The not cheating cheaters map. I need to head towards the bottom of the, the left deepness entrance for the other charm. Right, let's go do it. XOXO. Bewitched. No, charmed. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. 20 follows. We did this. Do you remember that we're 50, we're 50 followers off of, um, not 50, we're 40 followers off of a cooking stream. I think about that a lot. Um, I think I said 200 as a, as a low ball estimate because, um, I've been thinking about the logistics of cooking in my university flat and I've realised that logistically it just doesn't work. I'm gonna do it anyway, obviously. I also have plans for like a special, I've, I've got, I have a stream idea in mind and one day I'm gonna do it, but I'm not gonna tell you all that I'm doing it and it's gonna be a good day. That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Notch from Minecraft? Yeah, in Hollow Knight, the final boss actually, it's not Radiance. Radiance is just like a side character. The final thing you have to do is physically beat Notch uh, of Minecraft fame and uh, replace, replace Notch with Hatsune Miku. That's the secret lore of Hollow Knight. Firstly, it's a political analogy. Second of all, um, Notch fucking sucks. Down with Notch, um, up with uh, Hatsune Miku. Did Melo do the Fog Canyon Notch? I'm pretty confident that I've done the Fog Canyon Notch. No, I'm pretty confident I have not done the Fog Canyon. I think I have. This is why it's so tough. If I'd have known as I was playing the game that it would be a good idea to take note of what I have and haven't done, I'd have done it. As it is, this giant fucking map full of tiny secrets, and I don't know what I have and haven't done. It's a nightmare. He do suck, someone take Twitter away from him. There are so many people we need to take Twitter away from, myself included, not because I've done anything wrong, just because, you know, I shouldn't have to see other people committing wrongdoing. <sighs> Where is this charm? Is it this way? No. Is it up here? Maybe, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know, wish I knew. Would be really cool to know, huh? Most still needs to do Trial of the Warrior. No, I've done Trial of the Warrior. If Trial of if if um if Trial of the Warrior is the um <laughs> Fuck, I promise I'm trying to think so hard right now. If Trial of the Warrior is the second um Coliseum battle, then I've done it. But I haven't done the third Coliseum actually. Buggy boy! It's nice to come here and reminisce about when I was saving the bugs. Uh, an innocent being. I, I didn't know that I was sentencing them to a, a cruel and unusual death one day at the hands of their father, the person whose duty it was to protect them. It's just tragic. Can you make Hollow Knight dab? Fuck. I wish I knew. There's gotta be a mod, right? Someone said once that there's a mod to give Hollow Knight a gun. If you can give Hollow Knight a fucking hell. If you can give Hollow Knight a gun, then you can, you can make Hollow Knight's little arms go whoosh. Wait, I'm gonna dab, I'm gonna dab and you're not gonna see it, wait. Doesn't that feel so sad that you didn't get to see that? I did it, but you didn't get to see it, mm, tragic. Oh, it only costs one when focusing soul amid a spore cloud that slowly damages enemies. Hot, sexy, cool and fun, nice. You should check in with Salubra. I still need this last charm before we can check in with Salubra. I would love to, believe me, but 
I'm 100% confident that the thing that Salubra needs from me is me to get this last charm. And I don't think I know which one it is. I won't lie to you. I don't think I know. Um. God, I forget that, um, they've been rolling out the new Twitch feature of being able to reply to people's Twitch comments slowly to different streams. And I got it reasonably quick. And I always forget I can do it. So the fact that I can hover over messages and like nearly respond, it's ridiculous. I hate it. It's disgusting, Chai. Wait. Damn it. I wish I could reply to a reply. Make it a really never ending thread. Wait, can I? I can. No, I can't. I can. We can make the thread never stop. Never stop. Never stopping everyone. Fluke nest is the charm. Okay. In royal waterways. This is intriguing to me because I, I always have to return to royal waterways because I've missed something. This is just a constant for me. Is there a quick way to get there or is the, the quickest way right now actually to just go down? God, I hate this region. Bad region. Bad game. Go get fluke nest. We'll go get fluke nest. I forgot the whip. This... The it's been, it's felt like already so long since we were defeating Radiance that I've just forgotten that we're going to need to do that at some point. I feel quite chill and happy. And at some point I'm going to remember that I have to take on Radiance and my, my good emotional state is going to plummet. Plummet like, uh, I don't know, things that plummet. Like the stock market. Mm-hmm. Money. Cash, cash, money. That's what they say. And that's always what they've said. Once we have the last charm, we can check out Salubra as well. This bodes well. This bodes well for our future. This bodes so well, I would describe it as bodacious. In the 1920s. Exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hate it when I hurt them nowadays. Because, fuck, where am I going? Because I know that they don't want to hurt me. It's why I try not to equip the stinky boy charm all the time. Don't go the long way, Mellow. Please don't, Mellow. Mellow, use your eyes and also your hands. Do it. Yeah, maybe the truth is that uh, I was born in the 1920s. You ever think about that? Exactly. You should think about that. What would the consequences of that be? I would be 100 years old. Any other consequences? Anyone? Anyone? This is a test. There are correct answers. There are incorrect answers. Don't get it wrong. Whoa, wild flashbacks to Mantis Lord's stream. That was, um, that was vivid. <laughs> God, I love vivid flashbacks. Don't hurt the good mantises. I don't mean to. I just smell so bad that I can't help but, you know, stab them a little bit. Do we bow? Yes. That's what you love to see. I love it when I've earned the respect of some really lanky boys. That makes me feel good. I love it when lanky men respect me. Where am I going? Okay, up here, up here. Why am I going this way? Why? What? You're so right, trash. What the fuck? My brain just went on autopilot and was like, mm, you know what? I am going to go this way. I'm trying to... Wait, where am I trying to go? Hang on. I'm trying to go to waterways. Fucking hell. Believe me, I did know that I was going to Waterways. It wasn't as if I got confused between Waterways and Deep Nest. It's just that I think in this area, my instinct is so firmly ingrained to go try and beat the Mantis Lords that when I'm in here, I just try and go down. It's it's wild, but true. True facts. Um, what? Why am I going in here? <laughs> I swear to God. What the fuck? Fuck. Milo broke for a second, me thinks. Um, I think that second's still going. I think we've been in that second for a very long time. Interestingly, the way that time works uh, scientifically is that there is only one second. We're always just in it. And we're always in that second where my brain is broken. That's why it's such a struggle, you know? It's difficult living in the moment. Because the moment is so tough to, to live with. 
Oh, it's just nice to not have to defeat the mantises anymore. I really do uh, do that. I really do do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're near waterways though. That's good. Very comforting. And the music here isn't bad. It's not as bad as the music in the uh, fucking sh shitty city. That's what I call it. Shit city. You've heard of party city. Sometimes. This is different. This is shit city. Um, okay. Let's just sort of wander around waterways. I'm sure we'll find it. If we wander aimlessly for long enough, we're guaranteed to find it, right? Cool. No one's disagreeing with me, so I'm inclined to believe that I'm correct. Royal waterways? Oh no, Hophine said no mellow. Shit, what have I done? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> My instinct now is just like, fuck, what have I done? <laughs> I was playing this song through the Alexa in the living room earlier and just vibing. That sounds good. I was listening to the uh, the Hornet um, OST earlier, and that was very vibey. That one is particularly vibey. Oh, I forgot these things. They're so. Wait, is it that? Whoop! 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 I think it is. Did was it was it that easy? It's just a fucking egg. 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 Stupid dinosaur. <sighs> okay. Die, I guess. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I've been left a gift. Okay. Let me see. <gasps> These presents. You you really do all treat me so well. I'm treated so brilliantly. Um, oh god, we have to go quite far to get to that. Let's go down, down in an earlier round. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Can't be that difficult. I just say that we do it. Ooh. 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 It's a stupid fucking egg. Stupid fucking egg. That fucking egg's been getting on my nerves all night. That's, that's... Why was I trying to quote a Nicki Minaj meme but decided to do that voice? Why was that the voice that I decided gave off the strongest Nicki Minaj any energy? What the fuck? Someone please tell me. Tell me why. Tell me why. I was just listening to the whole OST. As you should. As you deserve, frankly. That's all I have to say. It's good. It's, it's a, a fantastic soundtrack. Um... Many would argue that I actually don't listen to it enough, and that's my mistake. Can you play <laughs> Tony Hawk's American Wasteland? Thanks. I've never played a Tony Hawk game. Although I did watch a Brian David Gilbert video um, through Polygon today where he asked the question, why is a, a, a banned guerrilla warfare tactic that's been banned by the UN featured in Tony Hawk Pro Skater game? And I think about that now. I've only known this. I, I've only known this frizz fucking hell i've only known about this for about six hours but i will never forget i'll play a, a skater game why not she was a skater boy she said see you later boy that's what i have to be now the dlc ost is very good also i've not listened to any of that yet actually have i because i've not gotten to that part of the game that's very sad that's very sad for me oh shut up thank you Shut up! Shut your mouth! Thank you. Ooh, now where am I going? Hmm. I love the sewers. The sewers... Ooh. Do love it here. Oh, these things! Gross! Way too many of them, in fact, one could say. Hmm. Not a fan. Ooh, 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 okay, not a fan, not a fan. I was talking to Bright about Brian David Gilbert earlier. Wait, Chai, you like Brian David Gilbert too? <gasps> yes, okay. This is exclusively a space for Brian David Gilbert fans. Uh, if you're not a fan of Brian David Gilbert, get the fuck out of my house. What are you doing in my house? Oh dear God, please leave. Take my wallet. It's a very new one. It's not even Unraveled, which is nice. Because as much as I love Unraveled, it seems to be a lot of effort. And I'm like, please, Brian, please, honey. Take a fucking break. Get some sleep, Ryan, honey. Stop unraveling things. Uh, and le leave the things raveled. <laughs> Do you know BDG sings? Have you heard him sing? I've heard him sing. Have you seen him? Um... Hello? Hello? Wait. Vino, thank you for the- thank you for the follow. 
I have heard BDG sing. Have you seen his um his series that he made before he joined Polygon called uh, Dances Moving? That's very good. He has a song in that called See the Day. And and spoilers, a little bit of spoilers for Dances Moving. Anytime I hear that song, I feel sad but hopeful. And uh, sometimes you just need to feel sad but hopeful. And BDG provides that for BD me. That's what I say. I haven't heard him sing Louis Zong song. I've only heard him sing, um... Oh, wait. You know what? I'm sorry. We're taking a BDG themed detour. Give me a second. Give me a fucking second. A very quick BDG tour, I promise. It's only going to take a second, okay. but it's going to be a second that you're going to appreciate and never be able to stop thinking about for the rest of your lives. Wait, what's this? You just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. <clears throat> Silence, right, please. So I've uh, you hear this bit? Baby, it's you. You're the one I love. And she's you're lovely. She's just got. Voice. She's married to a very successful rapper. And, uh, you yeah, know, she doesn't have a lot of, uh, lot going off uh, in the way of uh, philanthropical, uh, philanthropical pursuits, but uh, Wait, she's, uh, the she's love a on lovely top? performer. Hell yeah, the love on top. The love on top. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I think about that video every single day. I haven't been able to stop thinking about that video since I saw that video. That video is in my liked videos playlist and in my favorite videos playlist, uh, and I'm never getting rid of either. But I found this channel by accident, but worth playing this game. Oh, if, if you're here for good gameplay, you're gonna have to squint at times, Vino. I'm not known for being, uh, how you say, the best at Hollow Knight, but I do have a good time, so I can provide that for you. <laughs> Dance is Moving is amazing. His solo channel is great. Um, I love the dart song. You've spoken to Patrick a bit, lovely guy. You can't just flex like that, Chai, and expect me to be okay with it. You have spoken to the Patrick Gill? Is his name Gill? Yeah. Him? What? There's a boss in here? There's a boss in here? How have I never been here before? What the fuck? Gil, he was nice. I love him a lot. I love his hair. I love him in the board game shows. I respect him a lot. I mostly talked to their legal representative, but I also chatted to Patrick a bit. I feel like we need context for this Chai. I'm fascinated by this portion of this flex from you, Chai, is like when Trash flexes about, um, uh, uh, oh, it's, it's being related to a member of, um, <laughs> fuck, why can't I remember the fucking name? Trash, tell me your celebrity flex again. Just tell me, because it's not in my brain right now. I'm going to need you to tell it to me for me. You found some amazing videos for MediaShare. Honestly, MediaShare stream could be relatively soon. So if you've got some ideas for videos that you want me to see and yell about, just sort of store them in your head a little bit. Oh, I hate it here. I hate it here. Bad boss. Bad boss. Bad boss! I hate it! Oh no! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die 100%. This isn't even a, um... This is guaranteed. This is guaranteed. This is guaranteed. Baby, it's you. You're the one I love. You're the one I need. Fuck! Fuck! The last bench was so far away! Without giving too much away, I used to organize collaborations between popular internet people and creatives in their respective communities. Wow, first of all, the phrasing you used there was incredibly fancy, Chai, and I respect that a lot. Second of all, that sounds like a really interesting thing to have done. That's a very cool flex. I like that a lot. It's Robbie Williams. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> hang on, hang on. When you've, when you've said before, um, that you're related to, to, um, a member of the band that made the song that features at the end of the movie Stardust that I can't remember the name of right now. You've never specified that it's Robbie Williams. This is disgusting, this display of uh, pride and greed from you both. 
There's this one advert that was like six minutes long and you watched the whole thing because it was so meme -y. Oh, that's good. Save that for me. I like that one a lot. This boss is canonically a MILF. Mm, no. Uh, how do I erase a, a fact from my mind? How do I delete knowledge from my skull, please? Because I would like to do that. I would actually be very happy if that's something that I was allowed to do. So please, please do that for me. Get rid of that. You worked with Polygon and uh, Oni NG to name a couple. You can't get too much into specifics because you decided to walk away from that because you didn't like being in the public image so much at the time. That's really interesting, Chai. I didn't know that. Very cool. I mean, good to walk away if it wasn't bringing you enough joy, but like, a, a still a cool thing to have done. Still some very, you know, valid and useful experience, I think. Me thinks it's cool. <laughs> oh, I hate this area so much. There's too much going on. I'm overwhelmed. What can I say? I'm overwhelmed. Uh, rent a dad? Rent a dad who? When can I rent my father? Wait, I've never specified. I thought I had. You've never specified that it was specifically Robbie. That's like the most flexy one out of all the members of Take That. I finally remembered it. How much is Mellow dying? Quite a bit, Hot Pine. Uh, in a scale of 1 to 10? 10. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that what you love to see? Oh no, thank you. I'm not even gonna, I'm choosing not to deal with any of them, but they, they run so fast. So I don't even get a choice. I just have to, don't I? Cool, fun. At least I'm making money. Cash, cash money. Waterways is a mess. I hate it here. Oh, thank God I never did any of this the first time round. It would have made me very angry. As it is, I'm only slightly angry. If we're talking about being related to celebrities, my one <laughs> is Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath. What the fuck? Why are you all related to cool people that are known like for, for being cool? I don't get it. I don't I don't understand. I don't relate. What's my one? I sat next to um This is my trouble. I think I'm genetically very head empty. One time I was in a restaurant and I sat next to a, a guitarist from a band, but I can't remember the name of the band. So like, what's the use of having that as a flex if I can't even remember the actual information? Is Mello's chat broken? I think mine's okay. Is it on screen that's an issue? I think it's okay right now. Oh, you mean why did I not, um, I think my chat is fine. I can read fine. I'm proud of my work, but I don't want it to be attached to me so much these days. Yeah, that's valid. Um, like I say, it sounds like a really interesting thing to have done. A really cool thing to be able to talk about in minor details, but 100%. If you're not comfortable with something, walk away. Mama feels extra head empty today. I just can't remember words. This happens a lot to my mum as well, and she's always just like, ah, yes, in my old age, and then I'm just like, no, mother, because I'm 19, and I can't remember the word take that occasionally, so it's clearly not an age thing. If we're talking about people we've met, you've all done, um, ha what about this? Does this count? So one time I was less than three meters away from, um, the, the, the people that play Connor and Abby from Primeval. I was less than three meters away. I didn't speak to them, but I saw them from three meters away. Trash is high five Declan McKenna. Oh, that's a pretty big flex. That's maybe the biggest one yet, I have to admit. I do have to admit it, legally. Wait, what if I just go to the top? How is this? And then I can... And then I can just hit over and over again. Oh, I hate this boss so much. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever hated a boss as much as I hate this one. And like, I've hated a lot of things in my time. But this one's the worst. This one's the worst. Is there like, please tell me there's like a, a secret that I could do, please. <gasps> Did I do it? Did I do it? That's really gross. That's really gross. That's really gross. I feel physically sick about that. I don't like how that looks. I don't like, I'm not gonna say it out loud, but this looks like something very specific that makes me feel very ill. I don't like it at all. But we have all of the charms now. That's cool, I guess. Wait, we can hit that? I want to hit it. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. That's satisfying. Connor and Abby? I was less than three meters away. I was at that phase of my life where I was, um, 
about 17 and the idea of um, speaking to people terrified me. It still does, but now I'd have spoken to them just so I could flex about having spoken to them, you know? You know how it is. You you know it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have done that back then. I've grown. I'm, I'm a bigger person now. Physically, I'm taller. I don't think I've been in this area as a whole, which is wild. Um... I can hear someone humming. What? Who's humming? <gasps> no, okay, we need to go get to a bench before I even touch any of whatever the fuck this is. I don't like it at all. Yeah, we can do Salubra, we can do Salubra. But I also think that at some point I should go over there because that looks really interesting. Cool. Nice. This boss is just too alluring. It's just really weak. I'm glad that it was relatively weak. It only took me one death, which is pretty good for me. Yeah, I'm excited to go to Salubra. I miss her. Fuck, I miss Salubra. She's disgusting, but I do love her to some degree. Like, one loves a, um, uh, like a rodent. It's cute, but I'm also disgusted by it. Andy Circus, Paul McGann, call me Kevin, Artie Games. Uh, Artie Game and Miles and Gary from Rooster Teeth. Those are your big ones. Those are some pretty big ones too, Chai. I mean, if you're gonna flex, you might as well flex with enough muscle strength to, to strangle a woman. And that's what you've just done to me. I've just been strangled by the strength of your flex. God, yeah, I really don't have anything like that. Um, both my um, uncle on my mum's side and my aunt on my father's side were in like relatively popular bands, like... My aunt's band, I think. <sighs> Most of my stories are just fun stories from my family. Like, um, there's a band called... I'm gonna Google it because I have a vague idea and I don't want to get it wrong. Okay. There's a song called... <laughs> there's a song called Kennedy by The Wedding Present. Um, and the wedding present, the band, one time, back in like probably the 70s or the 80s or whatever, my aunt, who was in a band at the time, was thinking of going to university. So she's told her, her parents that she was going to like a university open day. Uh, except she didn't go to a university open day. She went to the basement where the wedding present were rehearsing and she rehearsed with the wedding present who are a relatively famous indie band from the 80s. <laughs> I find that a really fun story in Flex, by the way. You walk past this one theme park, YouTube at Alton Towers, and didn't say hi, because I was in that phase, true trash. Even if I saw someone that I recognized from YouTube or Twitch in person, I'd just like eyes averted, pretend we do not see it. I've always been in a bit of a thing about that as well, because it's like, on one hand, I don't want to ignore someone that I have Physically, I'm like, I recognize you. I don't want to ignore them and have that be an awkward situation. But I also feel like it must be really uncomfortable to go up to people all the time and be like, I know who you are. I watch you on the internet. I watch you. I know more facts about you. I have an inherent position of power because I know more about you than you know about me. Like, I just think that's really uncomfortable. Mellow's witness, semen, demon. I don't like that area at all. I guess we'll go back. I liked meeting um, RT people because I've been watching them since 2010. Oh, 100%. I think if it's people that you've been watching for a long time that you feel like uh, that connection to, it must be really, um, really fun and interesting to meet them for the first- Ah! Ah! To meet them in person. Shit, I tried really hard to get away from that one. Didn't work. Uh, to meet them in person. I think for me, even YouTubers that I've been aware of for a really long time that I, I respect a lot, I don't think I would- get anything out of meeting them in person because I don't really have anything to say like all I have to say is hi I like your content I think you're really entertaining and cool keep up the good work and it's it just doesn't it feels like if I was to, to if you're to meet youtubers or, or internet celebrities or celebrities of any kind that you care about you need to be able to give more than that and I just don't have it I ain't got it in me love I don't have it 
I want to talk to them, but I don't want to interrupt their day. Yeah. See, it's never happened to me. I've never been in the position where I've seen someone that I recognize and I've- What the fuck? What the fuck? Ew! 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 Oh, yucky. That's really gross. I don't feel good. I'm Seaman Demon, that's what I was called when I first joined this stream. Wait, yeah, we, uh, when we played Quiplash, that was the name you used, wasn't it? Did you know? Is this is this what you were trying to emulate? You were trying to emulate the energy of this cursed being? Because I see that. Ah! 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 Okay, cool. Mel, if I ever spot you around, should I have eye contact in case you're a diva? Oh no, 100%. If you see me around, talk to me. I'm saying that right now. That um, If you see me around and you recognize me, talk to me. Uh, but bear in mind, pre-warning, listen to me when I say this. Fucking listen to me. I will be the awkwardest person in existence. I won't know what to say. I'll be really embarrassing and you will lose all respect for me. So, yeah. Yeah. Basically, I don't- I, I recommend you talk to me, but I don't recommend that you get anything out of it, that's what I'm saying. Trash remembers me. I remember Seaman Demon. You think I can forget something that cursed? Impossible. Melly really said a a a a a r. Ah, 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 you've heard of E, 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 like EA Sports? No, weak. Disgusting. How will he get a kiss kiss? He has no lip lips. This is way better. A is a better letter. This area is so gross. They look like nipples and the uh, the whole area is coated in semen. I'm disgusted, frankly. Many things in this game have filled me with a deep sense of unease and discomfort, but this is the worst. Stream librarian. Trash has like the brain for memory. I have the brain for... Um... Oh, that's so gross. I, I, I mean, I've got to be good at something. I'm- I'm probably good at something, that's all I'm saying. Probably. I'm not sure yet what, but one day I'll get back to you. My brain is useful for something, I promise. I'll let you know. That's a good way to deal with these things, actually, because then I can just take it slow. Originally I wasn't actually gonna talk in chat, just me mysterious stranger who wins, but then you said if I didn't talk you'd kick in case I wasn't actually in stream. I'm so sorry, Chai. Only because, um, there was a time we played Quiplash, probably in about May. Um, this was probably like the tenth time we'd played Quiplash on stream. It was a regular game at that point, which was why this was so uh, unnerving when it happened. But we played Quiplash. And someone entered um, with with slurs, like they entered with two slurs, um, and I had to to quit the game. And we spent this whole time trying to figure out if we could replace it. And then I put this "fuck you" box on the screen, so just this black box that said "fuck you" in it, so I could cover up the room code. And it really freaked me out. So ever since, whenever I quit, I play Quiplash, and there is a name that is even vaguely potentially on the the naughty side even though the, there's a massive difference between naughty and slur even if it's on the naughty side I, I tend to be a bit more afraid and cautious because um i'm afraid it's going to be someone out there to basically troll and uh ruin the the comforting stream vibes that i would like to have so it wasn't on you don't worry i apologize for forcing you to <laughs> I am sorry, because the thing is, I lurk in other people's chats. If I was called out in someone else's chat, I'd probably never come back, because that just isn't- that's not what I, um, go to other people's streams for. But it was because of, like, previous bad experiences we've had with people joining a Quiplash game and not, um, being instantly recognisable. It's been a problem in the past. Only the once, but it did throw me. You're super cool in person, I'm still here, so... Yeah, in person I'm fine. Oh, that's, that doesn't bode well at all. How have I never come to this area? Seriously. It's cool now because I enjoy talking. I'm glad. I'm glad you do. This is a whole area that I've never been to. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? a whole area I have never been to. What the hell?
hell? We used to play it a lot. That wasn't a fun time. Comfy vibes only. Yeah, it was just so... I was just so shocked from it. For a second, I was like, has someone... Who's entered with that? It was really confusing for me. Um, And it's just, just a... Oh, no. Do I have a key? That I've not used for something? What the fuck? I never talked to the first stream. I probably never would have come back. So win-win. 100% a win-win, Chai. I'm very glad for the opportunity to have, like, met you and spoken to you. So definitely a win-win. For me, anyway. It's still up in the air for you, probably. But, you know... <gasps> Little butterflies. Where will they go? What will they do? Oh. Wow. This area is interesting. I don't think I like it, but I'm here. So I guess I'll, I'll explore. How have I never been here? I'm legit so confused by the breadth of things I've forgotten to do in this game. Wait, this is where I entered, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's try that again. I haven't seen you in person for eight months. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> We've spoken more because of Twitch than... than um. When I went to uni, I found it really tough to sort of talk to people that I knew from home. Or to talk to people in general, really. I found it really tough. Um, because I'm not particularly good at messaging. And the thing about Twitch is that ultimately it is a form of communication. It is a form of maintaining, like, friendships and relationships with people. Or, like, establishing new ones. Um, but it is very weighted in, in my... It's a form of communication that is heavily weighted in one person's bias. In, in this case, my bias, you know? Like, I have full control over what I read, what is said out loud, and... It's maybe a little... Um, questionable and narcissistic that it works out really well for me but I find this a really good way to keep in in contact with people and to meet new people better than messaging I find that really tough so it's wild that I haven't seen you in person for eight months because like I feel like we've kept better in touch doing this than if I was I'm a mess man I can't communicate other ways this is where you access one of the DLCs there's another DLC and if you killed Nailsmith, you can find his body here? No, I don't want that. I'm so glad we didn't kill Nailsmith, because I love Nailsmith. I fucking love that guy. Wait, is this where I came in? This is where I came in. Hang on. The remaining key is on the other side of many organised fights. Hang on. Is is um is this an area that's... If, if it's to do with the DLC, then, is that something to do with um the Grim stuff? I'm like, everybody hates Chris, but everyone loves Chai. <laughs> True. Everyone is okay with Chai? No, everyone loves Chai. You were right in the first place, Chai. Stop lying to me. Stop lying to me with these words like tolerates. Like, I don't agree with what you're saying to me, and I think you should stop. Um, ah, you can get it without fighting, though. I feel like we talk a lot more now. Yeah, we do. We do. 100%. Because um, this is a form of communication that works really well for me. Again... Let's try not to consider the implications of that. Let's just not consider it. Um, but it works out really well for me. I enjoy it a lot. And I like having the opportunity to keep in touch with people and meet new people because of it. It's been brilliant for me. Um, especially the timing was ridiculous. The fact that I started this in January, kept it up in February, and then by the time March rolled around and I was indoors all the time for eight months, I'd established enough of a a sort of tone that I could, uh, work with it. Holy fuck. My- the power of me. I predicted, uh, I predicted all of this. Wait, have I been here? I'm so confused. I'm a genius. Oh, it's another DLC. God Home DLC. In my defense, Team Cherry get, get, give way too many DLCs to us. We haven't earned any of these DLCs, so... In my defense, uh, it's bold of me to assume that there was more than one <laughs> just free with the game. That's ridiculous, and I love it. Big fan. Team Cherry, please respond. You have two hours to respond. <gasps> Get back to me, Team Cherry. I did it! I fucking did it! Who are you? Hello, ma'am. 
Fluke Hermit, Stronger, Gla Gla, Bigger Mother. This is my favorite Daft Punk song. Um, Stronger, Bigger Mother, Gla Gla. Pine really unsubbed for that one message. <laughs> I love it when that happens. I don't know why it makes me laugh so much, but uh, I just pretend I don't see it. It's a weird thing, it's easy to feel like you know someone when shitting about in uh, chat, but it's also not necessarily knowing someone because it's kind of a one-way thing. Yeah, exactly. Like I say, like it's heavily weighted in my bias. If I read a message and misinterpret it, that's on me and there's no way that you can communicate tone. So so the, the bias in chat is that you can't communicate tone the same way. Um, you're kind of stuck to the speed. There's uh, the limit of the chat delay and it's biased in my favor because if I see a message that I don't understand I just don't read it aloud. Or if I see a message that I don't want to say out loud I have the power to not engage with that. It also means that I have time to sort of process what's being said to me. Um, so it is heavily weighted in my favor. From my experience streaming if you just talk to people in chat it's easy to consider it a two-person relationship streamer and chat. Yeah a hundred percent because like um it's, it's a, there is a word for it, it's parasocial relationships, like you say, it's, I watched a video about it a little while ago, there's value to it, it's not necessarily a bad thing straight up, like, it is a form of communication, it is a form of social validation, and I think it has its place. I enjoy streaming, I enjoy watching other streamers, but I do think there is a, an inherent thing where if you are a person talking and you are reading multiple people typing it can be very easy to just be like yep the twitch chat i don't know if i've fallen into that yet or not i'm not sure i like to think that i think of everyone in chat as a, as a distinctive individual person i think it helps that many of you i have spoken to uh, in person or over discord like and i've heard your voices but for many of you i haven't but I don't think I've fallen into that trap yet. You still all feel very distinct and individual and I still think that we all have... We've all got individual rapport, if that makes any sense. Like, we've got different running jokes. Like, my running joke with Hot Pine is that Hot Pine bullies me! And... <laughs> my, running, my running joke with, um... Chat months ago was the whole point system thing. Like, it's running jokes, admittedly. But there's individualized stuff, I think. <laughs> what rhymes with orange? Door hinge. Good, good. No. Punctuation. Orange. Florist, if you really spin it a certain way. If you pronounce it incorrectly. They're a good representation of me as a person, but like concentrated into a three hour chunk. Oh, 100%. They're, a <laughs> They're basically my performative... Um wanting to entertain people, wanting to make people laugh side, condensed into like three hours, three hours of, of just go, 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 do stuff, think stuff. And I really enjoy it. Like I love, as much as we joke that I'm very head empty, which I am, I like this as a way to sort of exercise my brain. And th there's so many reasons I like streaming. The large one is being able to, to keep up these parasocial and real social relationships with people. But another part of it is just that I kind of like exercising my brain like this. Um, I'm, I'm weak of brain, but it's still exercise. I didn't really consider us to know each other until we started more on Discord. Mm. See, it's weird because... I don't know, I feel like I've got... Obviously you can't know a person. And today I learned a fun fact about a job you previously worked, but I think every single person in Twitch chat has a different tone and has a different personality that is clear in their own messages. So it, it depends how you define knowing people. Like, do you only know people when you've known them for years and you can give me facts about their life? Or do you know people when you can anticipate a certain tone from them and you can sort of read or, or hear things they say and think, yeah, that's very them. Because depending on your definition of it, I'd argue that you can know plenty about people in a Twitch chat based on the things they say, the, the jokes they know about, the references they make. It's a different kind of knowing, maybe more superficial, but I think it massively counts. See, Hot Pine's bullying me again. This is very rude. 
before it was just stream entertainment, you know? I want- at the same time though, I do want that to be what I do. I do want to be entertaining. Yeah. I changed my mind nice and wet. Ew. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to throw up. I don't like that they said nice and wet. That makes me feel really uncomfortable. <sighs> Scary up up. Me too. Me too, Gla. Me too. Mother sends treasure. Gather it up. Disgusting. Little sisters. Gla gla. Disgusting. Stinky. Poopy. Ha ha. Yeah, I do want to be entertaining. Um... That is still a part of what I want my streams to be, but I also do like the idea that, you know, I feel like a person you can know, because to some degree everyone feels like a person I can know in chat. A lot of that is because I do actively have known some of you for a long time, like I've known Trash for years, so obviously I'm gonna know more about Trash than other people, but what does not rhyme with orange? It was a statement. You were telling me a lie then, Hot Pie, and you were lying to me. You were saying what rhymes with orange. You were straight up lying. You know that one of my rules is if you lie in my Twitch chat, I uh, punish you with crime. As in, I make you commit more crime. The, the punishment for crime is doing more crime. Isn't that intriguing? Isn't that what you love to see? I agree. Oh. Now I understand why this is where, um... The nail master's body would be can we go i want to go see what the nail master's area is like actually i'm kind of intrigued to see what the the area the house is like when he's not there it's very much a good representation of your higher energy side yeah like even when i do a low energy stream it's not truly low energy because because it's so entrenched in streaming for me that the goal is to be entertaining and that is a way i get to exercise my trying to be entertaining side of my personality. Even if I tried to do a truly low energy stream, I wouldn't really keep it up. Like you could argue that this is my attempt at low energy and I still feel very intensely high energy. <laughs> I'm also lost. Fun fact, I am lost. I think personally I find it dangerous to assume familiarity with people I know in unique situations. I think technically it is knowing, but there is a distinction between a stream interview relationship and a person-to-person -person relationship. No, 100% I agree, Chai. I think that there is a difference between a stream to person and a person-to-person -person relationship. You're definitely not wrong, but I think that the... I think that there are too many distinctions and variations between individual person-to-person -person relationships anyway that I don't think the validity of a streamer to person relationship is that much different. Like, there are plenty of people that I have known in person semi-superficially. There are plenty of people that I have known not a lot about facts of their life, but I have known a lot about um, jokes that they'll find funny or uh, a couple of things they've done, you know? Like, shit, where am I going? Yeah, I've known plenty of people superficially uh, in person to person relationships, so... I would argue that if you uh, would class a streamer to... There's got to be a way to get through here. If you would class a streamer to person relationship as a little bit more superficial, a little less knowing a person. I've had plenty of relationships like that with people that I've physically met. Like, it is guaranteed that I will know you all less than uh, can be picked up about me because of the fact that I'm always here, whereas who is in chat and what is said will vary. But I think that um, in terms of how a streamer to person relationship can be superficial, but so can person to person relationships, I think it has its value. I find it odd that I've only interacted with your brother via stream. I find that fascinating. That's another part of it, you know, like, um, <sighs> let's get to a bench quickly. One thing that I've loved about streaming is the fact that it has been this very interesting way to combine um, new people that are, are just checking out my stream and have that person to streamer relationship and people that I have known for years, like Trash, people I have known for a lot less time in person but, but still um, with a lot of care and feeling and then family members, like I just think that's really interesting to me. No, sir. Thank you. That's what you love to see. Um, Salubra. Yeah, shit. I forgot about Salubra. You've let me ramble. We're talking now. I hate that. No talking. Only game. Only gaming. Gaming is the only, uh, the only thing that matters. This is a sport and I'm a winner. 
Shit, yeah, we do have all the charms. I, I knew that, but I know it, know it now. I can never remember where Salubra is. <laughs> this happens every single time. It's like, yep, let's go visit Salubra. Um, but where the fuck is she? That's all I have to say. Next question. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Here's your reminder that we became acquaintances seven-ish years ago. What the fuck? Uh, trash, disgusting. Uh, time isn't real and it can't hurt me. Why would you remind me? Why would you remind me about time? I think that's very rude of you and I think you should moderate your tone. Mm -hmm. Something I've thought about before is did I meet you through a mutual friend or through your stream? I suppose both. It really depends on how you think about it, Chai. You could say either. You could argue you did meet me through a mutual friend because someone recommended uh, my stream to you, but I do know that person IRL. Or you could say from the stream because ultimately your first experience of me and mine of you was the stream. I'd personally say through my stream, but that's because because of the bias of the streamer side of like these kind of like relationships. I, I associate everything with this through my stream. Bottom right of Crossroads next to Bench. I love to see that. I know, it's a talking stream now. I can't believe the title of my stream is Beating the Radiance Until I Win or Pass Out when I have done nothing of the sort. <sighs> oh shit, that's actually pretty far away. I'm not sure what the best way to do that is. I think we want to go to the Forgotten Crossroads stag station. So if we can get to a stag station, we'll be golden. But is there even one that nearby? This is kind of sad. We're really far away from kind of everything. What if we go up and to King's Station? What if we do that? That seems kind of fun and sexy and hot. I agree. We're going up, up in an early round. Change title to getting beaten by Radiance till I finally wake up. I am in all seriousness going to change the stream title because I'm not a liar. I'm many things. I'm a dirty, dirty crime boy, but I'm not a liar. Um, I'm gonna call it... Mm, I'm gonna call it preparation. Preparation for the end times. I think that's suitably uh, ominous. Suitably threatening. Resting ground station, then across the lake. That does seem quicker. I agree. Uh, from your perspective, I just showed up your stream, but from your perspective, Amon told us about you and then dropped your link. Yeah, different contexts. Um, from my perspective... <laughs> from my perspective, it is 100%. You just, you show up in a stream and I'm like, hello, nice to meet you. Like, that's... The <laughs> it's an interesting difference to me. Um, shit. I don't know. I think, I think it's, um... I think it's an interesting question. I think thinking about the nature of parasocial relationships versus like social relationships is really interesting because I can think about it from both sides. Um, like I know how I feel I relate to people as the, the streamer and I know how I feel I relate to streamers as a viewer. And I think it has kind of helped with streaming to, to sort of consolidate how I feel about the validity of it because it's weird actually I feel like I don't know streamers um, even when I know a lot of facts about them I don't feel like I know them but streaming I feel like uh, people that are regulars in my twitch chat <laughs> admittedly a lot of the regulars are people that I do know IRL but I feel like uh, the regulars in my twitch chat I know them. And like I say, I don't know facts about them. I can't tell you their birthdays or where they're from, but just tone and, and the, the kind of humor that they tend to have, things like that. Like, um, but I find it kind of interesting that as a streamer, that's what I feel. And yet as a viewer for a lot of people's streams, I don't feel that it is what the streamer would feel. Kind of weird to describe. I'm having trouble. I'm head emptying it today. 
I feel like the relationship between regular viewers is weird too, like, because I'm pretty much always here, I see a lot of everyone, but my communication largely goes via you. 100%. Because even if you do directly speak to someone, like, a uh, earlier Toxic directly spoke to you and asked a question directly about, um, how you played the game trash, and because I didn't see the prior context of that, I read it aloud and answered it as if it was my question. And that happens a lot, where, um, occasionally I'll read something out loud and then realise, oh, hang on, that wasn't for me. Um, and a lot of the time I will read something out loud and that's how you hear the question, you know? Like, you know that someone is talking to you because I've read the message out loud. So it is weird, it must be weird as, like, a, a regular regular. Because at the same time, everything that I'm seeing in Twitch chat, you're seeing you're picking it up as well, but you're not having that, um, that vocal relationship. So it's a really weird situation. It's why I love streaming, because there's so many weird different nuances to it, and so many different things you can be. Like, the difference between being a streamer, uh, a, a viewer, and then a regular inspires completely different scenarios and feelings and, uh, definitions. It's wild. I think the fact that most of your regulars are your friends is also a factor that changes the context of your streaming view relationship specifically. Agreed. Agreed. But there are regulars that I don't know, uh, IRL, that I have developed a lot of fondness for. That, like, um... And I know there's a difference between, um, like, a social relationship and uh, a fondness, but I do sincerely feel very, very fond and... How do I describe it? I feel very, very fond of a lot of the regulars that I don't know in IRL. And... I find them fun people and interesting people and with good senses of humour because they like my channel, obviously. And I think that applies to the people that I know IRL and the people that I do not from my stream. Does Melo still not know my birthday? True trash. It's maybe in May. Maybe. Get it? Maybe. But I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Actually, that's an interesting point too. It's weird not to be talking directly to Mello and or the streamer. It feels rude. It isn't rude. I, um, I'll say that right now. If you ever want to just talk to someone in my Twitch chat, go for it. One time, a couple of people were in my Twitch chat and they just did a full-on Five Nights at Freddy's roleplay. Just in the chat. Good for them, honestly. I don't need to read it out loud. Like I say, sometimes I'll see a message and because it's hard not to assume that it's for me, I'll try and read it. But if, if you're having a conversation with someone in my chat, go for it. I will never consider it to be rude. It's it's your prerogative. <laughs> Wait, how did Hot Pine remember it? I didn't. I suck. Hang on. I Hot Pine's a better friend than me. This is embarrassing. <gasps> Quirrell was here. This is Quirrell's final resting place. Fuck, now I'm sad. The FNAF roleplay chat was fun. Because occasionally I'd look down at chat and it was still going and I'd be like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> I never got into roleplay. I have an invitation, actually, from a very close friend to play D&D. Um... In fact, it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to start a D&D &D campaign as a player soon. Because my friend's running as a, as a DM. And they think I'm going to be good at it because they think I'm creative. And you you know when um you have high self-esteem? Like, I have high self-esteem. I think I'm a great person. I think I'm fun and a good presence. But I, I have really weird negative views on my own creativity and my own like improvisational ability and I'm convinced that I would be really really bad at D&D &D because I don't have it in me to make original characters and act out in a role play type situation as them and I don't know where I've got that from like I honestly don't understand why I'm so convinced I'd be terrible at D&D &D. hey Mello when's my birthday wait hang on child let me guess this. Give me one second. Is it November, Chai? November? November 30th, Chai. That's your birthday. XOXO. Fuck, I fucked it up. 
I want to play D&D before I've done RP before and it's fun. It's the kind of thing that I think I would love. Like, I think I'm going to love D&D. Especially because my idea is a character who involuntarily travels, like, uh, involuntarily teleports and doesn't know where they're going. So they'll just keep coming back with, like, wounds or in a completely different outfit or with, like, a haircut and they don't know what's happened. I'm fascinated in that. Close, though. I'll give you a clue. It's a big day for another reason. <gasps> Are you a Christmas baby? December 25th, baby. <laughs> I'm very good at creative sh See, I don't know why I don't believe that. I think a lot of high things about myself. I think I'm very smart. I think I'm very funny. So why don't I think that I'm good and creative? Very interesting. Trash, you are good. You're good at OCs. You're very good at original characters and that kind of original fiction and role playability. I think you'd love D&D. If you get the opportunity, Trash, join in. You'd love it. All that high fantasy stuff? Ugh, oh, the dream. I missed your meme. I didn't, I promise. Bezos' is Reign 2, Electric Googaloo, Bezos' is Reign 3, Return of the Musk. I gotta say, Hotpine, I love these ideas for a feature film trilogy. Um, if I give you a budget, would you produce to, for me some, some movies where Jeff Bezos is the villain? I'll pay you a hefty sum. Bad vibes, you're working two till 9.30 tomorrow? Ew, that is bad vibes. I'm so sorry, Trash. Drink as much caffeine as you can. Have you seen the, um, oh, we're so lucky we have enough for that. Have you seen the, uh, the TikTok meme of drink iced coffee, panic attack. Drink iced coffee, panic attack. Drink iced coffee, that's all I'm saying. I have OCs. Trash wanna swap OCs. Chai has OCs too! You all have OCs. Wait, did she say that I have good- <gasps> I feel sick. Why the fuck did she touch me without my permission? That's disgusting. Can we get a fourth? If you can come up with a fourth movie. Make it like the big blockbusters. Have a first, second, and then the split the third movie into two parts. What was that? Is that a notch? Or a blessing? What is it? What did we just get? That wasn't a notch. What was that? Wait, what was that? What did we get? Why didn't I read any of that? Shit, I fucked up. I don't know what she just gave me. I wasn't paying attention, so now I just don't know what she did. Oh no. Oh no. Sit on a bench? Ooh. Wait, okay. Yeah, bye. She called me an attractive and dashing figure. I think I need to leave before I, I am molested against my consent. Okay. Now what? Now what? Fuck, mellow blind, mellow blind. Nobody spam mellow blind in chat, but also I can't see. <gasps> oh, I see now. Um. Wait, does that refill my soul? She gave you kiss? Uh, she gave me a little kiss. I don't like it. This wasn't worth it. I hate to say it, everyone. I wish we hadn't done this. You're saying that I am to be haunted by the spirit of a woman that kissed me? Don't want that. Disgusting. I'm already haunted by spirits of women that have kissed me. I don't need this. <laughs> what the fuck? You used to write for visual novels and you made some OCs, but you don't do any of the stuff you're good at? If you're not doing it because it isn't giving you any joy, that's valid. Don't do something, even if you're good at it if it doesn't give you any joy. But if it's just because you've not had the time recently, try and give yourself that time, Chai. Do the things that you're good at that bring you joy. And then also maybe make me an OC for D&D, &D, please, because I can't do it myself. I can't do it. <laughs> I have zero art skills, but I made Picru icons. A talent in itself. Picru is just fun. It may not be a talent actually, but it is fun. Basil's is Rain 4, Zuckerberg's Revenge. Why have you got me genuinely invested, Hot Pine, in this, this, um, quartology of, of, <laughs> uh, Bezos movies? Why am I fascinated by the idea of Mark Zuckerberg taking revenge? 
Going into the Hollow Knight with full soul already. Mmm, that's kind of tasty and hot. I like that a lot. You will make me an OC. This is a good day. I've, I'm being treated so well today. People aren't even bullying me as much as normal. Nice. People are only doing the, the mellow blind and why not command every so often. It's nice. Bezos is rain five, an apple for an eye. Fuck, hot pine, that might be the best one yet. They've all been brilliant, but again, I am fascinated. I like the implication that in the fourth movie, Jeff Bezos murders Mark Zuckerberg in Mortal Kombat uh, and then decides to take on Apple, the Apple conglomerate. My, my OCs are just, here's this thing I struggle with about myself, add it to a character, make them cool. That's a good way to do it. When I was talking to this, this friend that's gonna be a DM about how to make OCs, they basically just said that like, you incorporate different parts of yourself a lot of the time, especially in your first D&D um, &D character. But I, I don't think I have a self. I just think I exist. I don't struggle. <laughs> I'm so, not to be incredibly neurotypical on main or anything, but like, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I'm fine. <sighs> I, I have nothing within me that bodes well for creativity. Like, I can't make a good OC because I'm not even myself a good OC. I'm not even my own character. I'm someone else's. Bezos is rain sick, Macrosoft. Wow, you're big braining it. <laughs> Bezos is rain seven, Waltz, Dasney. Okay, okay. Okay, um, you were big braining it, I have to say. I'm feeling it less and less now. <sighs> no self for Mayo. Mayo? What the fuck? I just referred to myself as mayonnaise. I clearly have no self because apparently I think that I'm mayonnaise. Okay, let's leave before Salubra's spirit um, makes me feel m any more uncomfortable than I already am. Um... Let's go this way. Drink ice coffee, panic attack. Drink ice coffee, panic attack. Ah! Yeah, I mean, actually now, holy fuck, I messed up. Bezos is rain eight, the downfall of Walmart. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know we were anti-Walmart. I guess Walmart is also itself a big corporation, but you know, when I've been saying eat the rich, I didn't know I was referring to Walmart. We don't even have Walmart in the UK. I'm pretty sure that Asda is owned by Walmart, but I'm not confident about that fact. Fuck. <sighs> Damn it. I mean, I knew that. I knew that I couldn't go this way, but I think I just wanted to believe so badly. I've created a false reality because I wanted so desperately to be able to go to the, the stag station that way. Uh, turns out, don't dream. In this day, I have learned that dreaming uh, doesn't get you anywhere. So just stop. <sighs> I gotta go the long way, shit. The downfall of Walmart. Apple harass Walmart, that's why. Oh, wait, trial of fool. You think- <laughs> You think that I can just beat the trial of the fool? <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> um- that's a lot of higher self-respect for me. I, I do like to see it, but also not likely. I don't think. Ooh, things to kill. Drink iced coffee. Panic attack. <laughs> I remember um 1 p.m. earlier today when I made the announcement that I'd be streaming at 8 p.m. BST. Uh, and, and Bright said, like, wow, this is this is early. And I said, yep, the vibes are just so immaculate. Remember that? Remember when I thought the vibes were immaculate and it turns out that actually they were they were rancid? The vibes have been rancid all along? <laughs> I remember that. I really do. Wait, hang on, what's in here? <gasps> oh, yeah! Nice. That's what you love to see. Hot pan's vibes are at two percent. Hang on, you're freezing. Put on a blanket or a jacket or a blazer or a... put on some socks. I don't know. Don't be cold. You don't have to be cold. 
I can relate though, Hotline. Earlier today, my lips were blue and my fingertips were blue because of the fact that I was cold. Let's see where my vibes are at. Okay, wait, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I would distinctly say that's not bad. <gasps> wait, Chai, that is cool. Hold the fucking phone. That's fucking cool. There is something just so uh, appealing to the soul. There's nothing more appealing to the soul than, than green, slimy looking fire, I have to say. You've done something special with this one. Shit, Enzu, there's a cool down on the vibe check. You're gonna have to wait like um, probably another 10 seconds before you can... Oh no, there we go. 96%? Shit, you were 4% off me having to physically just end the stream because of your vibes being so immaculate. That's terrifying. Not my art, just to clarify, I commissioned them. It's still cool. It's still cool that, like, you came up with that as a character. Wait, what's up here? Should I be able to get up here? What's... What? No, probably not. Probably not. Ah! 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 It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. It's all flashing before my eyes. No more life. Only death. Trial of fool. I think... If you can... If you can let me. If you can bear it. I... Th I think I would like to give um, Radiance one more try. Because while we're in this area, it just feels like it makes sense to just give Radiance a bit of a shot. Um, we've upgraded a little bit. We have two extra charms, and I think I want to give Radiance a try with full soul from the beginning. I think that would be very nice and fun of me. Fuck you! Fuck you, dude! Fuck you! But then, um, considering that we still have probably about half an hour before I end the stream, and Radiance will only take, like, pff, probably an average of six minutes. Then I'll give it a go. I will 100% aim to do Colosseum. If we don't finish Colosseum today, then tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Try again the cooldown. One day I'll take the cooldown off for vibe check. I know why I did it. I know I did it because everyone was uh, was vibe checking and uh, it meant that I'd have to end the stream. But it really has been annoying since. I'll get rid of the cooldown one day. Like the green clinging to the sword. It just looks squishy. I just like slime. What can I say? Wait, where am I even going? I'm trying to go to fucking... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let's go back up. I really want to get something commissioned, to be honest. Might wait till I'm more at a solid point with what I actually want to do with these OCs. I think it'd be very cool. Uh, if it's the OCs I'm thinking of, trash, like your OCs. What the fuck am I doing? I would love to see something commissioned for them. My imagination isn't that good to, to be able to picture things like that. Um, so if you if you if you do get them commissioned, uh, sign me the fuck up to looking at them, please. Hello, hello, ma'am. Twenty-two percent. Ooh, tragic, tragic, chai. Very weak vibes. Work on your vibes. <sighs> okay, we're back. Guess who's back? Back again. Mellow's back. <gasps> Perfect timing. Spicy. Okay, let's get rid of all of these and start from fresh. Starting from fresh, now that we have all of the charms to our disposal. Transforms the vengeful spirit spell into a horde of volatile baby flukes. Kind of hot. Kind of like that. So we need sharp shadow. That's a, a guarantee. I think I prefer Defender's Crest because it doesn't require being able to focus. So I am aware that the two charms I've just obtained, I will not be using, but it was worthwhile. 16%, this is so sad, Joni. Joni. See, Joni is useful. It's 100% useful to get that amount of masks, but the fact that I can't regen really isn't useful for the way that I play. If I was better at not taking hits, Hot Pine, Joni would be perfect, because it would mean that if I did take hits, I could handle them a bit more. As it is, I take a lot of hits, and I think I need to be able to regenerate from that. So I think a good combo is still Hive Blood, and then, oh, wait, why can't I do that? Is that not what I was doing? Not Hive Blood, then. I still think the best combo is Elegy, core and then something else that costs three maybe elegy maybe something else actually i'm gonna have a bit of a scroll 
Shaman, yeah, no, that's the one I was using. Thank you for reminding me. Right, let's give this a go. We're going in with full soul. What could go wrong? Please don't remind me. Post the different one. Let me see that quick. Oh, I love that one. Why do I get big marinette from Miraculous Ladybug, but with four arms vibes? I love that one a lot. Immaculate. Most of my OCs are just a bunch of characters that are like mashed together and diversified. Is that why I see Marinette in that second OC? Is that Marinette inspired or is that completely accidental, Chai? I would be interested to know. I would be interested. Ooh, that was like spicy of me. I moved into the exact right location. Uh, I'm kind of talented, huh? Oh, I was gonna say I've not taken any hits yet, and then I immediately followed that up by taking a hit. Kind of embarrassing. Kind of embarrassing for me, huh? Let's try not to do that again. No more hits. Today, we don't take hits. We win these. We win these. And by these, I mean everything. Everything I've ever tried, I've never failed at. Never failed in my life. 19 long years of never failing. And it never fails to get old. Exactly. You see why it never fails to get old? Because I never fails to get old. Whee! Whee! Fancy! The forearms thing came from forearms from Ben 10. <laughs> Wait, that's really funny to me. I like that a lot. God, I miss Ben 10. <laughs> What's the legality of watching things on stream? Because I would love to just watch Ben 10 on stream. That would be great. All of it. The Ben 10 movie, at least. Come on, at least. At least one Ben 10 thing. I just need more Ben 10 media in my life, please. Hornet, Hornet, Hornet. Yes, there we go, there we go. We're gonna be going to this with full soul. Get good. Get good, that's what Hornet always says to me. Her name is Beef. <laughs> Fuck, I love her so much. I would die for beef. Oh, it says beef! <laughs> I'm sorry, Chai. I would die for B as well. I read the exclamation mark as an F. I really did see a lot more Fs in the chat than there actually were. I'm sorry, her name is not beef. Her name isn't beef! <laughs> you made that before the show came out? I can't believe that Thomas Astruck of the Miraculous Ladybug design team uh, stole your OC. That's really embarrassing for them. I'm gonna post the pickers, ignore the outfits though, because I couldn't get anything for the aesthetic of their world. It's like a modern AU. Wait, I wanna look. Oh! <gasps> Why does um Axel give me big Laurent from um Great Pretenders vibes? God, I love that. I do love an uh, extroverted sunshine child that doesn't know how to cope. And I forget that your other character is called, like, Enzo. That's beautiful. I fucking love it here. The energy is immaculate. <sighs> this is amazing. This is always the perfect combination, Trash. Always. The introverted struggling with self-identity character versus the extroverted but unable to cope, so puts on an, a happy facade. You've done something special here. Apparently the particular piece of art was drawn one month before the first episode of Miraculous Ladybug came out. Wow. Do you think um, two months before the show came out, they were like, fuck, we've got all of the characters, we've got the aesthetic, we've got everything we need. We just can't think of a main character. What are we to do? And then they were just sort of scrolling through, blah, blah, blah. They come across your OC and they're like, this is exactly what we need. This is the character. Beef. What's the character's name from Ladybug? Marinette, yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's go. This has been easy from the beginning. From the very beginning, this has always been easy. Never had a problem with this ever in my life. We're just gonna get it right, first time. Not even a problem, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry, not even worried. Yep. Me? Not worried. Worried? Never heard of her. Ooh, shit. Maybe I'm a little worried. Maybe I'm a little worried all of a sudden. Yeah, the vibes have suddenly got a lot less immaculate. 
Oh shit. Oh fuck. We were doing okay. Now I have low hopes. Shit, 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 fuck. Oh my god. I'm in agony. Let me be free. Bad game, bad game, bad game, bad game, bad game. <gasps> no, I've messed myself up with that one. That was a, a silly mistake. And it's going to really come back to haunt me. I can't believe I did that. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And the hopes were actually not bad for this one. I actually felt we were onto something and yet I'm still gonna die. Oh, this one really fucks me over. I hate this game. Can I stop? Can I give up? I give up. I give up. No relation. She really does. The next I'm going to post is actually the most I've ever fleshed out one of my character's stories and world. See, I love this. I love OC creativity. It's a very specific kind of creativity that I appreciate and love. I made it to fourth. Prepare to climb. Um, prepare to what? Where? Where have I got to climb? Where am I going to have to climb? Okay, okay. Do I have to fight and climb at the same time or do I just need to get as high as I can as quick as possible? <gasps> no, don't tell me I have to do everything I've just done but also while climbing. I'm gonna die. So I died. But getting to the fourth phase actually was pretty good. They're fishing on the mushroom? What does that mean? That could mean so many things. Oh, wait, that is cute. I'm into it. I love the aesthetic of the world, actually. I really like that. There is something very endearing about glowing mushroom in dark, dark forests that will always get me about fantasy worlds. I adore it. You have no time to heal during Radiance. Yeah, I know. There's the occasional time to heal. Occasionally. But not once I'm climbing, is there? No time once I'm climbing. I just need to accept that. His name is Monkey. Monkey, that's cute. Okay, I get that. Wait. I was going to say, does he have a tail? But he does. That's perfect. Please tell me. Maybe this is this has got to be a detail you've thought of. Please tell me it's one of those tails in, like, media that, like, um, behaves in, in, in um, tandem with his emotions. So that when he's sad, the tail goes, like, sad. And when he's in love, it goes into a heart. Please. You'd make my day. You'd make my whole day. I'm shaking. I can't believe we did well there. That that broke me. Right. Let's at least charge up full soul. Before we go in. Might as well. The aesthetic was actually my design. We worked hard to close the gap between her art style and what I had in my head. Yeah, I can see that. I really like the colours. I also like that because I feel like... It looks like you've commissioned from a couple different artists. Either that or this artist has a very unique, varying style. Because, like, all of these different images look um, very different. Like, very different styles. Oh, this one's cool. Why do I get, like, um, you know the band Gorillaz? Why do I feel like this is a, a member of the Gorillaz? This is a compliment, by the way. You would be spending soul on abyss shrieks. I know. The thing with that, though, is that if I've got one, uh, one mask and I don't dodge, like, it'll kill me. I just, I need that backup of being a little bit safe. If I can uh, recharge a mask, I will. I need that. He uses it like a limb for climbing. Wait, that's cute. I love it. I'm a big fan, I have to say. Mostly drawn by one person because it was intended to be a comic. And the art style is based on gorillas and the concept of the Borderlands game. Oh, I see that. I don't know Borderlands very well, if I'm honest. But it does remind me of gorillas. I think it's like the shape of the mouth and the, the eyes. Specifically in that last photo where you see it in like, um, the, that last image where you see it from different angles. I like that a lot. Just once, try with Joni and Shaman. I'll give it a go. I don't have high hopes for how it would treat me. But I'll give it a go, 100%. Uh, we're getting to the end of the stream anyway. So I'm going to give it a shot. 
Just for you. This one's for you. Respect it. Um, and then... And then Charmin Stone. This is either going to go very well or very, very badly. Who knows? Who can say? Prehensile tales of fun. <laughs> Trash knows words. Trash know big words. Trash, you've intimidated me with your knowledge of big word. Whoop. 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 Fuck. Played myself for that one, huh? Played myself. Played myself. Played myself over. Fucked myself over. You love to see it. You do. You love to see it when I fuck up. You do. Wait, this is actually going okay. I mean, I knew it would, obviously. I knew it would go okay, obviously. But, like, this is going okay. My strategy of just hit as fast as I can and as hard as I can works quite well with this charm set. Fuck. Except for when I do that. That's the only time that doesn't work. GF, Mellow? Girlfriend? Girlfriend? Which? Where? Who? Where is she? Ma'am? Ma'am, this is a Chili's. Sir, this is a Wendy's. The other day... Okay, I'm going to tell this story while I play. I think it'll help with my concentration. So the other day, my next door neighbours were having a party in their garden. Except instead of having this party at like a normal time that you would expect, they had their garden party... Um, at 1am. So at 1am I was trying to fall asleep and I was woken up all of a sudden by uh, the, the song uh, WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion playing outside in my garden and a group of presumably about four people with the local accent which I find very annoying just screaming the lyrics. They proceeded to then have like a domestic argument. Either way, it wasn't very fun. But <laughs> I was laying in bed and it was echoing through my attic bedroom. Just this fucking song and these dumbass drunk people at 1am singing along. And all I could think of was just, sir, this is a Wendy's. I just kept saying it over and over in my head. So so now there's a video um, that I saved that I didn't put on my Snapchat story, but it is saved on my phone of me looking exhausted, lay in bed filming my room and then just turning to the camera and just, the, sir, this is a Wendy's. I think it's pretty good. You do kind of be thinking about Adeline Cole in time. Isn't that all the time though, Trash? Seriously though, isn't that all the time? I don't think there's any other time if I'm honest. WAP at 1am, disgusting. It's tricky because it was louder in person. The video makes it seem like I was um very upset with them for no reason. Obviously I had a reason. The reason is that they were being really annoying. I fucked myself over, fucked myself over. Ah, uh, ooh, I messed up. I'm already do be messing up though, love. I already be fucking myself over. Fuck. Shit, this didn't go well. Ooh, wait, I just was like dead silent for a second. I think I had to be to like cope with all of the things that are happening right now. This is a lot. This whole like my um, my my the way I would describe this whole section is just it's a lot. It's just short. Sure, it sure is a lot. Anyone else getting vibes that it's just a lot? Hmm. <laughs> I hate it here. Hate it here. Bad game, bad game, bad game. <gasps> yeah, I don't think this works out as well for me. I hate to say it. I know that I'm kind of biased against it because I like my initial charm set, but I don't think this works out well for me. I think this one scares me. Shit. Shit! The amount that Adeline Cullen means to me is kind of insane, but his character makes me feel so happy. I'm glad. Everyone deserves a character from fiction that just brings them joy. Just, just ridiculous joy. We've all got one. We've all got one. I can't think which mine is, but I do have one. <sighs> Getting to third phase, that's kind of good. I will 100% give this charm set one more try. 
Um, but after that one more try, I'm probably going to go back to the other. We got to the fourth phase in the other. That's got to mean something. I think I just need to hone that. But if we get to the fourth phase with this one, then it's up in the air. I don't know. Radiance's music is a bot. 100%. Agreed. Just straight up good vibes from Radiance. If it wasn't for the fact that Radiance is so stinky and evil, I'd like them a lot more. Shit, this is going badly already. I hate to say it. You do know I hate to say it, but I do have to say it. Sometimes we have to say things that we hate, and I hate that this one isn't going well. Oh, I messed up there. I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry. I did mess up though. It helps wearing glasses. I can't believe I ever played this game not wearing glasses. That's ridiculous. How did I see? How did I fucking see? Answer is, I didn't see. Uh, I was just completely bereft of seeing. Very sad. Maybe don't take three hits at the start. Oh yeah, that's easy. I just won't take the hits. Yeah, yeah, just, no, good, thank you. <laughs> thank you for telling me. Because my, I was thinking that I would take them um, and then just go from there. But you do raise a good point. I'll try that out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being like aggressively sassy. I don't mean it. I mean, I do, but like, I don't mean it. No, I only know how to take hits. I know how to talk shit and how to get hit. No in between, no in between for me. I've been taking shit hits since, since 2011, maybe. One more and then we get, oh, there's one. Cool, I see you, baby. Get good. <laughs> You need your glasses to Hollow Knight. It's a, it's probably a large reason why I'm <laughs> passive aggressive and it's fine. It's, I'm sorry. It just came out of me. It burst forth like a virus. I didn't mean it. Two, two. Shit, 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 shit. We're in uh, phase two, right? Though this is good. This is good. Uh, this is fine. This is actually a really good, um, way to begin. Shit, and I wish I hadn't fucked it up. I was given a god tier. Shit, and I keep fucking it up. I basically need to take no hits in the first area, don't I? That's basically what I need to do. Um, it's a lot easier said than done, though. Um, in fact, I find everything in this game a lot easier said than done. In fact, I find everything a lot easier said than done. And I find things very difficult to say all the time. Sh shit. Bad. 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 Bad game. Bad game. Bad game. Bad game. Bad game. Okay, we're on two. Last time we got to this point, we only had one. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, I'm ready to climb and everything. We've got to go fast? Hmm. Thing of the past. Now we got to go high. Get as high as you can so that when the evil, shitty, stinky boy comes for you, you don't fucking die. So on the plus side, we did get to the fourth phase. On the downside, we didn't finish the fourth phase. But, but, <laughs> if you think about it, we've progressed a lot further this week than we did last week. And that's that can only be a positive, right? Like I think we've attempted Radiance less today, but we've done better, that's good. Let me scroll through, give me a second. Yeah, I'm consistently getting kind of far. I'm doing okay. Let me check the Discord. <gasps> Wait, a uh, demon friend? Demon friend with horns and also ears? Oh my god, I, the, the horns and the, the goat energy is 100% delicious and I love it, but why am I the most interested in the waistcoat tie red shirt combo? 
I say this about every character with dark hair and emo vibes, but I'm getting like, what if Keith from Voltron was a goat? And I love Keith from Voltron. Maybe I'll send Ad Adlin so I can feel it. Is this Adlin? Um, excuse me? He looks like a sunshine, uh, a sunshine child repressing a lot of internal uh, trauma. I love him. You have like a hundred pieces of art for your characters. That's so cool, Chai. I love that. It must be amazing, you know, to, to come up with an OC and then be able to commission an artist to produce art for that. Like, I'd love that. If I ever come up with an OC, you can give me some recommendations of artists to commission some art from because holy fuck. I can get one more notch and then I could get a stinky charm in there. That is a good point. <sighs> my, my spine hurts. <laughs> Do I get the notch from the Colosseum? I get the notch from the Colosseum, don't I? I get the notch from the Colosseum. Mm. I would also like to say, not to flex, but we have completed 98% of the game. And I really don't mean to flex, but I'm very impressive and you should all respect me. That's all I have to say. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Either the Grim Troop DLC or the Colosseum. Well, I think I have better hope of doing the Colosseum. Although I doubt it. I know that Toxic had a lot of, um, had to do a lot of attempts to do the Colosseum. I imagine I will too, because Toxic's better than me. <laughs> He's a classy gentleman. It's about 50% commissions, 50% fan art. That's really cool. Fan art is my dream, honestly. Um, I, I've never created OCs, but I've written a couple of s uh, relatively successful fan fictions. And... The dream is that one day an artist would be inspired by my fanfiction um, to, to create artwork representing a scene from my fanfics. Like, if that ever happened, I'd lose my marbles. I only have about three left and I'd lose them all. My marbles? In the dirt. Drowning. Gone. He's hurting so much but always looks out for others. He looks so smiley! But like, especially that bottom left one where he looks like he's frowning a little bit. The pain, I can see it. Also the combination of like tan skin, blonde hair, dark roots, blue shirt, holy fuck. Aesthetically, it all just hits. I see what you mean, Chai, this is a very classy gentleman. Anyone that wears a cool banging tie and a waistcoat has earned my respect because that's the outfit I wish I had all the time. Did you clear Trial of the Warrior? Um. I have cleared the first two of the three Colosseum um, trials. So I don't, so I, there's no notch, fuck. So the only way to get another notch is to do all of the Grim Troop stuff. Uh. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever have to do Grim Troop. I was like, Grim Troop's DLC. I don't need it for the endings, but I kind of need it to be powerful enough to take on the rest of the, the game. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Oh, I don't like this one. An insatiable breeder. <laughs> Sorry, I just rem- <laughs> I just remembered that like, um, I don't know how I feel about the, the, the joke insults that uh, are used against straight people by the LGBT community because on one, on one hand I'm like yeah they're fucking funny um, especially a community that has had so many words and terms used against them to cause harm like yeah this is creative and fun but um, occasionally people will refer to straight people as breeders <laughs> and I just find it really funny <laughs> I just find it really funny. And the other one that people say I don't want to say because I don't feel comfortable with it, but it just amuses me. <laughs> so reading this, I'm like, oh yes, the fluke mom, AKA straight people. <laughs> I've already done some of the DLC. So my percentage isn't even 98% of the base game. Oh God, you're right, shit. I mean, I've already started the DLC. I might as well continue it, right? That's the logic. Unless you haven't done the Fog Canyon one. I really don't know with Fog Canyon. I'll probably check that out off stream. 
if I'm honest, off stream, I think I'm probably gonna um, start cheating. And by cheating, I mean that I'm probably gonna go to an area like Green Path, like Fog Canyon. I'm gonna look at a map on the wiki and I'm just gonna see if I have everything. And if I don't, I'll cry. And if I do, I'll be happy. Read the Cosmere, get attached to Adeline and then come be sad about it. <laughs> He's literally the best. Okay, wait. Next time I come to your trash with um, book recommendations, remember that, okay? I've still got to get through Lost Book of the White, Ninth House, and Stone Mattress. But all I need is like a good reading week and I'll be done. So let me know. This is your best OC. Wait, I want to see two. I want to see two! I want to join in! <gasps> your best OC is you? Wait. These are good. You mentioned earlier that you've streamed before, Chai. Were these your emotes? Were these your emotes? Because they're kind of incredible. They're so fun. Yeah, Hot Pine. I think... I'm fucking determined to finish this game. And get all of the endings. So I'm gonna do a bunch. You just need to find the red flame things on the map. Yeah, I know. I've equipped before. Um, I have equipped the Grimm's... What's it called? Grim's Child, is that what it's called? This charm here, Grim Child, I've equipped it before. So I am fully aware of the general direction of where the, uh, the the bosses are as well. I know there's one in Crystal Peak, I know that there's one in um City of Tears, and I think the other one is like Green Path or Forgotten Crossroads, isn't it? Either way, I know that they're easy to find, but if I do the DLC stuff, I'd rather do that on stream. I'd probably try and dedicate that to a whole stream day. The stuff that I'd do off stream would 100% be like clean up of um, going to different locations and making sure I have everything. Because I guess I have all of the charms now, but I just feel like there's probably a few things that I've missed. You got them all after you streamed. I use emotes to express myself, so I might as well figure you make them for you. That's smart, honestly. You raise a good point, like, honestly? Why do we even wait until, um... Just make emotes for yourself. That's my point. My point is, if you're gonna use emotes to express yourself anyway, make your own, bitch, make your own. I like them a lot. Um, people should just normalize making emotes, even if you don't actually have a place where you can put them, do that. If I start streaming again, will you host me? Chai, I'll host you. I'll have you on auto host, Chai. So I'll, I'll host you without even having to, if that makes sense. I will actively host you, but I will also have you on auto-host. And then I can build up a list for that. I've never had streamer friends. I like the idea of having like a streamer friend community. M maybe, maybe streamer friend community can- maybe Pog could be our always. I'd say do 112% at this point, maybe leave the final pantheon if you don't want to do it because it's literal hell. Trash, my current goal. Here's my goal for the game. So. If you remember, we hit 150 followers, like, last Wednesday. <laughs> which was wild. Um, which means that, as soon as I finish Hollow Knight and get, like, the third ending, um, I, I can start playing Breath of the Wild, like, a full playthrough of Breath of the Wild. And I'm very- I'm looking forward to that a lot. I've purchased the capture card today, so I'm not sure when that will arrive, probably in about a week. Um, and I've also purchased Breath of the Wild for myself so that I can actually give my friend who I borrowed the copy from their copy of Breath of the Wild back so I no longer have to be stealing to play the game. But what that means is that I would reasonably like to finish Hollow Knight within the next two to three weeks. So my current plan is to do the DLC the, the grim stuff, the grim troop things, I would like to defeat Radiance and get to probably like 105%. After I've done a couple things like that, I think I'm gonna switch my Monday, um, my Monday game to Breath of the Wild and I'm gonna turn Hollow Knight into like my Wednesday or Saturday occasional game. So I'll still be playing Hollow Knight, and believe me, I'll still be aiming for 112%, but I will graduate Hollow Knight from my Monday regular game to, like, my weekly, this is a game I like, I'm gonna play it Wednesday game. 
because like I say, I, I want to finish this game, but I feel like a lot of stuff that's left is just like, um, let's spend three hours repeatedly doing this thing over and over again, which has its own value. But I think we should do that as occasional streams rather than like every Monday, especially now that I want to do Breath of the Wild. Like, I want to do Breath of the Wild. Get ending three and defeat Nightmare King Grim. I'll do that. I will do ending three and Nightmare King Grim on stream on Mondays. That's what I want to do. One more Radiance attempt, then we're hitting the three hour mark. I think before I end the stream, I'm going to try Radiance one more time. But I'm probably going to be very quiet because we're reaching 11. And you know, you know what my mum said. I'm sorry, I love you, but you're being a little loud. <laughs> it's going to be weird to switch up Mondays. I agree. Um, I'm... We've been playing Hollow Knight every Monday since March. And that's so normal to me. The idea of doing anything else is wacky. SpongeBob. SpongeBob? Battle for Bikini Bottom. Did someone say SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom? Did someone say uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom when? Shit. When? Uh, whenever I can, I guess. Ooh. I'm just excited for when the new Mario games come out for the Switch. Because now that I've got a uh, capture card, I wouldn't even have to emulate, which obviously I'd never do. But, shit, I'd never have to do it anyway, because I can just play it on the Switch. Fuck. Um. <laughs> shit. Does Breath of the Wild have Patrick Star in it? Didn't think so. I'm sure I can get a mod. Breath of the Wild, but Link is replaced with uh, Patrick Star. Actually, that's not very good. Breath of the Wild, but Zelda is replaced with Patrick Star. Anyone, can anyone code or program or something? Can you make me that mod? I will respect you forever if you do. Please do, do it for me, do it for me, Lo. That's, that's me, get it? Me, Lo, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I love you, but you're being Stop a little it. loud. I can Stop hear it. the moth milk fist god. Fine, I will be quiet. I'll be quiet, mother. Fine, mother. Respect my- respect the drip, mother. Oh, we're gonna Link die. Is Luigi. <gasps> Hornet literally- How many bits for you to do a yell right now? Uh, 200,000. 200,000 bits and I'll do a yell right now. 200,000 bits and I'll scream at the top of my lungs. 200,000 bits. <laughs> my last six hours on Doki Doki. Hot Pine, would you like the explanation for that? Three, take it or leave it. Okay, I'm going to take it uh, and then I'm not going to yell. I'm going to take it, but I'm going to leave it. So th thank you for the bits, Chai. Oh my god, Chai. Thank you for the three bits. Thank you so much. I also acknowledge that I have, uh, I've not thanked all of the bits that have come in. So if, if you've uh, given me bits today, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're paying for my capture card. What, one at a time. And I love that. Um, Grim is one of the best bosses in the game, so you don't want to miss it. Yeah, I just think it's going to be weird to switch on Mondays, but I do want to finish the big stuff. Thank this one too. Oh my god, that one in particular. That one... That one feels heavier. Oh, and it smells like, oh, it smells like roses. That's, wow. Don't forget this one. Oh, uh, that one, hydrangeas. Definitively floral scents from both of them. Incredible perfume. You've done this bits bit before. I remember it. I remember it well, Chai. I'm still as fond of it. I think it's funny. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? F, she meant 200, no, I meant 200,000. 200,000 bits. I'm not gonna scream and disturb my my mother at 11 p.m. for anything less than like a lot of money. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, Hot Pine, would you like to know the reason why I have six hours on Doki Doki? Doki Doki Literature Club, DDLC, as the kids call it. Because I can tell you, I know the exact answer. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really weird to switch up the Monday game, but I'm looking forward to playing a game like Breath of the Wild from the beginning. I'm really looking forward to that. And it's gonna be really fun, I think. Um, basically my plan 
is that when I am at university and I have better internet, ironically, at university than at home, um, I think then I would like to stream the Switch games because I think I'll be able to stream them in better quality. That's just a guess, but I'm hoping. <gasps> Adeline Cullen has a birthmark on the back of his thigh as well as a lot of trauma. Please say that it's a birthmark shaped like, um, I don't know, like something that means something to him or something tragic, like a broken heart or like a something beautiful, please. Mello was simping for Monica. Joke's on you. I simped for Natsuki. Tiny pink hair girl? That's my shit, Hot Pine. Monica? Pfft. Boring. Disgusting. Stinky. Poopy ha ha. I simped for pink hair chan. But no, Hot Pine, I played through the game um, a couple years ago now. When it came out, I had a friend that came to my house and we played through the entire game um, with voices, which I hated. I've never been a fan of that. It, I found it really exhausting. Back then, I couldn't talk for like four hours uh, in, in one without being in pain. Natsuki can get deleted, and so can my heart. Anytime that happens, my heart breaks. Wait, Melo getting very good internet? I'm getting like... I think it's gonna be something like, um, 20 times better upload speed. So my current upload speed when I do an internet speed checker is like 5 megabits per second. At university, that should be 100. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Deleted by a moderator. Fascinating. What secrets do you hold? I found a really good video on YouTube earlier. It was nine hours long and it was the first Lord of the Rings movie, but every single time that Sam takes a step closer to Mordor, he says that it'll be the furthest he's been from home. It was a really good video. Let me know if you'd like the link. <laughs> ah! Deleted by a moderator. Um, okay, I'm gonna end the stream. We've made some good progress on the Radiance today. I think I had lofty hopes to try and do it today, but I think it's possible to do it in the next couple weeks. I think next week we should switch up the goal. Next time I play Hollow Knight, I think I should try and take on the Grim Troop. That seems good, doesn't it? I agree. Thank you for participating. Um, on Wednesday, I think I'll be playing Fall Guys. <laughs> What's on Fall Guys Wednesday? Ironically enough, Fall Guys is happening Fall Guys Wednesday. And no idea for Saturday. Maybe Undertale. We talked about this on uh, Saturday, I don't know what I'm talking about. Look at the pretty art. Wait. <gasps> Why do I kind of get Captain America vibes, Trash? Why do I... Kind of get vibes. That's what I see. I see vibes. That is very pretty. Whack, it's like 20 bucks. It's the most I've ever spent on a game. Not ever, ever, I'm lying. But uh, generally the games that I've got to play on stream, I've waited till they're on sale and I've got for like under a tenner. I paid a lot on Fall Guys, but it was worth it. I had a good time. We're gonna vibe. We're vibing all week. So yeah, thank you for hanging out today. I've had a really good time. Um, I thought it'd be a lot more high intensity Turns out it was actually quite chill because we didn't even defeat the Radiance. I guess. Tiny Cap vibes, but he better. Better than Cap. That's what we needed. That's the energy of 2020. Adeline Colon, no more Steve. We're done with, with uh, boring, stinky Steves. The art is good. Thank you all for sharing all of this, this, um, OCR and, and Adeline Cullen art because like I don't know I find the idea of OCs really interesting and I've never been able to do it myself and I, I always really like what, what OCs people come up with visually and, and story wise um so yeah thank you for that it's been a weird one I say that at the end of every stream but I mean it and I'm tired now <laughs> everyone get some rest myself included I demand it of you if you don't sleep I will, I will haunt you. I will haunt you for 10 years. You'll never be able to escape me. You'll turn corners, watching your back, seeing me. Just my head, just, I, I'll be a floating head. It'll be very terrifying. You will have nightmares forever. Anyway, um, thank you for coming to the stream today. Fall Guys Wednesday. Um, 
have a good evening, have a good day, go read and then sleep. <laughs> it's Christmas, let's go home. XOXO, go piss girl. <laughs>